What's up, everybody? You're listening to Roundtable Wrestling Radio for Valentine's Day 2017. I'm Joey924, and with me as always from Queens, New York. The one, the only, the Byron. Who happens to be my mm-hmm. Valentine. Um, also from PH, Michigan. I haven't lived in Michigan for about three years now. It's Sean Lathrop. Well, PH, I should been, say. That's been three years. Um, I was going to say, you haven't lived in PH. So yeah, I, mean, I haven't met from Chicago, for three from years, Chicago, so Illinois. Saying. Nobody cares. <laughs> but not Chicago, uh, Illinois. Laura Phoenix. For the Bronx of New York City. I just saw Mia Kadapi's first porno video, Innocent, aka Big O, on Valentine's, by the way. Isn't he dead? No, I said Mia Kadapi, the the oh. amateur. Oh. Oh. He's really hot. Yeah, she's hot. She is hot. <laughs> I will give you that, sir. She. I thought you met the dictator. No, 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 no. Me yes, the Libyan gift dictator's first porno. Yeah, yeah. No, because I'm yeah. saying, like, I saw the video when they killed him, so. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, Was that fake? Because, you know, like, nowadays you can't tell what's real or what's fake news, so <laughs> you don't know. That's all fake news. It's all fake news. Like, wh- whenever there's facts involved, that's when it's fake news. Or, and- or it's alternative facts. Alternative, that, yep. <laughs> but that is really a, that is a really scary thing, though. To that we're now convincing the world that uh, news might be fake news, and now people really don't know whether it's real news or not. And that's the kind of a scary. Like even the weather report, I'm like, is he really telling the truth? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, is it really you know it's so funny, Joey. It's so funny you say that because Sunday at my at my job job, I'm actually a radio DJ. And I'm not even fucking kidding you. The forecast for that particular day changed four times within four hours. Wow. The well, I mean, service. damn government. Well, I got, damn government. I could, Modifying could this believe, weather. I could believe that now because the weather does change mm-hmm. so much. But, you know, I'm just saying, like, now everything is questioned and it's a little bit scary. So when you when we when we transfer this to wrestling – like, I don't even know how wrestling websites have credibility at this point right now because, you know, even though you must say that at least the websites that I have read a couple mm-hmm. of months ago, everything that was reported has happened. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. And that's not a good thing, by the way, as I've said for the last couple of weeks. I do not like the state of the WWE whatsoever from top to bottom, by the way. And I'm just mm-hmm. – I'm just speaking for myself. Um, I'm normally excited, no matter how bad it's been in the past. You know, even listen, we've had Roman Reigns for the last two years in the main event, and we've known that. But there was always still a little optimism with WrestleMania. Um, but I do not feel it this year at all, whatsoever. And obviously, we came off of the Elimination Chamber. You know, depending on who you ask, of course. Uh, you know, pretty decent pay per view, but. Um, the one thing I, I I'm just gonna say this because I'm gonna let you guys talk more, but um, the only thing that truly bothered me at the elimination chamber was that the chamber itself was had mats on it. Yeah. And I don't know if people noticed that or not, but whenever somebody would go over the top rope, you know, the announcers would be like, "Oh my God, the cold hard steel against their flesh," and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah. I can, I- yeah. That bothered I, me I a lot, man. That bothered like, me so much. I don't know why, but it did. It bothered me because that was because the first time we've seen that steel. Oh. Didn't look like it hurt anybody. I, I there was like no the steel. Bars. There was you know, no that, steel. That, yeah, that chain just didn't look like it hurt. You know, no, I'm it, talking about. I'm talking about the ground right. part of the chamber. I'm talking about the the floor, oh. if you will. The floor had mats all across all across the chamber this year. They've never done that. But this was a brand new elimination chamber. The doors look better, you know. It, it looked more digitized. But the, I'm talking about the actual chamber floors, where in the past we've seen Rob Van Dam do the Rolling Thunder on it. We've seen uh, Goldberg spear Jericho through one of the pods in a very vicious manner. Um, but this year they all had mats. I don't know if you guys have really seen that, but every time somebody would go over the top rope and onto the floor. There was no noise, and I don't know if you noticed, but the people I think got, I think they got um, wind of it, like throughout the course of the match, because every time somebody would go over the top rope and hit the floor, people were reacting less and less because they started to realize, wait a minute, 
that's not the floor anymore. Like th there's all mats on the floor. And to me it's like this is the elimination chamber. It's supposed to be the most dangerous structure you know ever uh, you know constructed. I, there's no danger anymore. They took out all the danger. And this is I think a boatload of, of, of bullshit from WWE. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, they, they did it for a, num for a, a couple of different reasons, and, and uh. you can always tell. <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I, I don't want to be that that person that's going to make an excuse, but at the same time, you, you know, seriously. Okay. <laughs> and, okay. And to boot, they, you know, they, they want to protect their guys. That and also that chamber before the revisions done to it was seven tons. And they always made, like, for the longest time, we didn't see the elimination chamber because it was such a right. bitch to fucking not only haul but construct. And now the new arenas, they weren't really able to hold this structure up, so they redid everything. Right. Yo, you want to so know taking out that little bit of know, man, it... know, probably helped them, like, Less than by 500 pounds. Yo, you, you want to know what's my main gripe about the chamber? They 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 painted out to be this gruesome. Hurt hmm. yourself, and I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing that. That's what I. That, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I don't think you're going. understanding my point. No, I know. I know. Well, that part. Yeah. Well, that part of the matter. I'm just saying the way they built up the they they almost built it up like hell in a cell. That we're gonna see some some crazy stuff going well, on. And to be honest with you, the only thing we saw crazy right? was. What was it, Corbin or somebody going through the one of the the pods? It's just that's it. I've seen it a million times. A little bit. It, it was, it was a bit. Yeah, yeah, Corbin putting Am Ambrose through yeah, the pod. Just, Dean it, deciding that, that you know he's yeah, gonna be the new. first person nothing to jump new. off the damn pod. It just nothing, it wasn't, nothing it, new. It wasn't, nothing it wasn't new. devastating to me. Nothing in that match stood out like wow. Nothing. You know, I would never want to be in that match. I now after I, seeing I, it, I want to be in that match. You know, it, it's it, fun. It, to me it was. It was absolutely the most disappointing elimination chamber I've ever seen, and I can honestly say that with every fiber of my body, I can say that that was the most disappointing chamber match of all time. And and I don't know. Oh, I don't know if you're. I don't know if you can hear me, but yeah, yeah. But, but that's what I'm saying about the chamber that they put mats on the floors. When you take yeah. away the danger of the floor, and by the way, not really all that dangerous to begin with, but you take that little piece more. And put mats on the floors, and we're expected to uh, ooh and ah when somebody goes over the top rope. Like there was nothing about that chamber that excited me whatsoever, man. It was, I, it was I, heard, I heard what you said, but I'm talking about the match as a whole. I'm talking about bring some 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 but objects I'm, in. I'm I know, but about, you know, have somebody do a really high spot. Like it's just nothing. But I'm really... saying, I I understand what you're saying, but I'm saying the the floor part was was a major part of the chamber, no, and no, they took right. that away. They took that away. I don't know. If Byron's there. Byron, did you watch it? I don't think Byron should even hear. I, actually, I forgot that they didn't have the mats before. Because when I see that, I know it did look weird to me. But I was like, did they always have that? But it didn't like you know. They really click on. Yeah, yeah it, I, it, I was, totally it was great. No, I, I noticed yeah, I that. I, I really that think they did right away. to protect the guys. I really, really do. <coughs> I know that. I, I I get that, Laura. But you're talking about an elimination chamber, and the whole yeah. point of the elimination chamber is for the danger. And you took away the danger. I mean, that's like that's I, I don't know, man. Like I, I, you know, I'm I'm in a way like I say this not really that happy, but I'm glad that I was a, alive for the last era of real stuff. Uh, you know, authentic stuff, the real hell in the cell, the real elimination chamber. Uh, you know, blood, whatever it is. Like every everything that has that we that I got to grow up with and that I watched when I was five years old, by the way, and nobody ever said don't watch that because it's blood and all that. No, we in the '80s we didn't look at it that way. We thought it was the coolest thing in the world, like we, you know, as well as cartoons or as well as movies. And now, little by little, every little nuance has been taken away. And I get it to protect the guys. But you you still go up there with balls and say it's the most dangerous structure and this and yeah, that. Sure. Let me tell you something. It, it's nothing. The, the, the old steel cage, the big blue bars, look like it hurt more than the way the more. Side. And and wrestlers will tell you that that it hurt because more. They, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's like big sucked ass. There was no give in that cage. You know what I mean? That's that what was I'm steel like, bars. Now it's like to... little fences, and they throw you, and they're like, "Oh my God, I can't believe he's standing." And it's like it looked didn't look <laughs> devastating, like you know, like I'm, tell I'm telling you, we grew up in the last great era 
you know, in terms of all of that, of, of violence in wrestling. They, they've taken and the violence completely for, out. Well, thank God for the network because we can still all watch it on there. I guess, but, you know, if you're, if you're trying to sell me a pay-per-view now going forward about this is the most dangerous this or that, I, I, I can't buy it anymore. I can't, I can't, you, you've just sold me on every dangerous aspect that you have to offer. Last year, by the way, you know, they really went out of their way to, to promote Brock Lesnar and Dean Ambrose. It was going to be hard, it was going to be violent and hardcore, nothing, nothing happened in that match. I mean, we know why now. Because Brock Lesnar didn't want to cooperate, but again, when you are on television selling me a product, mm -hmm. I expect to see something out of that product. I expect exactly. to see a bump, a, a bruise. You know, you're gonna promote something and, and disappoint us, like Emelina's uh, return. You know, but that's uh, the reason, which is I mean, just disappointment. The for Disa the, fucking weeks. <laughs> disappointment across the board, just all all well, around, man. Just all yeah. around. So so do do I step really in weird. here with the positivity now? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll give you the Elimination Chamber compared to the other two major, well, you could really say maybe major, the What Culture Pro Wrestling's event. Uh, it was not that great. I wouldn't put Chamber in the realm of uh, event of the year from what I saw. But the fact that we saw Naomi win the SmackDown Women's Championship and considering how long she's been there, how hard that woman has worked there, uh, yes, there wasn't yeah, really as much momentum as other things, exactly. but she still beat Bliss three times in a row on SmackDown before that match. They were definitely building her in a sense, and I'm I'm actually extremely happy to see Naomi hold that championship over Alexa Bliss. Because Bliss, she's she just got there about a couple months ago. I love Alexa Bliss, but I'm finally glad Naomi's getting recognized and getting the love that she should be deserved. I don't know about all that because to be yeah, honest with yeah, you, that, like, like Naomi, listen, now that whole championship, like her yeah. capturing the bell, just felt like some last-minute decision booking. Like Naomi uh, really had no momentum. It well, seemed the, like nobody who won the belt this weekend had any momentum. Well, the plan is for Naomi is Naomi, mostly because uh, like, the bell body. What the hell is this? One of the things like, they really is, said a lot not, with I'm Naomi. Not, I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed when Naomi win the belt, but damn, have her win some high-profile matches. Before I, I mean, she before. has. She's beaten the champ three t weeks in a row. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, but but let me ask you something, Sean. How many times did we talk about that? How many times you have know, we talked about SmackDown? To be honest, no, we. But but yeah. but in but, the grand scheme of things, we talked about Naomi zero times. It's true. In, until unless we're talking about her ass, let's be real, or her entrance, because her entrance is. <laughs> and, and, and by the way, I, I've mentioned a couple of times here or there that she, to me, is the best athlete. I, I will mm -hmm. give her that. But but when you say that she's worked hard for it, I'm sorry. There, there, and she by has. the way, I'm not putting Alexa <laughs> Bliss in that category either because she's been there shorter. But there's been way more women that have come throughout the years that have worked, that have worked way more. More so than Naomi for her to stand there and, and get the you deserved it chant, really? Naomi's you been there it? about five years. <laughs> After eight years and eight uh, years. she literally started from uh, nothing and became yeah, eight years of, of being the best worker. Yeah, but in the look world? at look at Natalia. She's been there for what, ten years and it's like I don't know, man. Like I'll eight give years, you Natalia. Eight, eight years of being in you know, eight years of being basically not really thought of. I mean, I'd give you Natalia. If Natalia won the belt uh, today, for example, I would be completely for it because she's been so much part of that match for a while. Just because she's been there for eight years doesn't mean she deserves it. I mean, like I said, I'm not. Yeah, I know people. People yeah, mistake. Else? People oh, mistake. Please. People mistake um, people being there for years as to attributing it to you well, deserve okay. it. It doesn't okay. mean you deserve If Pete Rosa Mendes won the title, who recently retired, so that's the reason I brought her up because I just remembered her. I'm sorry. The people I, would I, not I, I react like... Just, for, just, just me personally, I don't feel that A, Naomi deserved it, or B, that that she had any momentum whatsoever of winning that championship. It she felt like nothing to me. The most, she didn't have the... the the, the momentum was there. That's because, because you know, at the, at the same time, they just they were kind of almost like pushing it off to the side for it to be yeah. a surprise. It came out of nowhere. But at the same time, though, that's also, like seeing, yeah. that's also like seeing. It's also like seeing that you know, in my humble and and this is like legit. I still to this day do not understand why in the fuck they ever put a title on Kelly Kelly when she couldn't even hit the fucking ropes. 
But well, I, I agree with that. Days. I agree so, with that. On. And that's why she back won the deepest days, title. Wait, wait, wait. It wasn't a woman. Back in the days, it was all screwed up. Back in the days, it was all screwed up with the women's division. They have an opportunity to fix all that shit nowadays. And when they do things like this, you kind of distance yourself from it because of this, the bullshit they're putting out. Look, look what happened on Raw. I'm sorry, I know we're jumping it, but what happened on Raw also bothered yeah. the fuck out of me. That yeah, was so it ridiculous. It was a good match. I'm not going to say it wasn't, but what does that do for her? Nothing. Because now she's going to... Everything. Well, I, well, well, no, I, I disagree with what it does for her. What I do, what I also will say, though, I'm is that she I'm, lost... She lost it, in my opinion, she lost it in an embarrassing way at the Royal Rumble. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yes. That's what I'm saying. That's and for her I'm to saying. win the title after that makes absolutely that's, zero that's sense. Not, it makes perfect not, sense. She just no, started I, getting a little moment. Just started a little no, no, bit. No, no, listen, and listen, it's listen, like, listen. hey. That's my you know point what of what I was saying. Listen, yeah. that's my point of what I was saying. She she wasn't doing anything. She kept losing. She kept getting rematches. She kept getting humiliated. <laughs> Losing, and then yep. she was doing backstage segments with fucking Sheamus and, and Cesaro, which was really okay. funny. I just freaking couldn't stand that shit. And, and I don't know what she went to But I, I believe <laughs> that they should have done what I said from the get-go, is have her, if she, if anything, keep losing, fine, but let her keep trying to get that belt. But, and, and, and let her get to the main <laughs> at least and fucking give her that fucking belt. Let, let me make this quick Okay, okay. how... Continue. How was what, she what? losing? She's undefeated against Charlotte no, outside yeah. of pay per view. No, but she, she was no. You're right. She wasn't losing per se, but she also wasn't. Uh, she again, was I, what what they did at the Rumble to me was came off very horribly. We we mentioned that after the Rumble, for her to come off of that and then win the title, it just doesn't look right. Now, I'm not saying that she doesn't deserve it. If, if anything, I think Bailey deserves it more than Naomi, believe it or not, and Bailey's been there shorter. <laughs> but, because I think Bailey, because I think Bailey works, I, I, you want to talk about really works, I'm talking about Bailey really works at it, but just not the right, just not the right time. Just not the right time. This was obviously, this was obviously designed for Charlotte to get that big win at WrestleMania. That, that's what I think. Uh, I mean, I, guess, probably, uh, I doubt it. Where, which, by the way, people. which, by the way, if, if that's the case, oh, then it's even worse. No, because yeah. you guys need to remember something. She's the queen of paper. She's the queen of pay per view. That's her gimmick. We remember her feud with Sasha Banks. She that's literally the won the title back every pay per view and then lost it the next week on Raw. No, 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 that's no, the no, entire. No, 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 or it could be where she, you know, she's actually going to lose at WrestleMania. But yeah, but, but that's my point though. Number two, you also still have Fastlane coming up. Right, but yeah. but let's say let's say she does lose at Fastlane or WrestleMania, then it's even more pointless to me. It's even more <laughs> I pointless. I don't like it because look, look, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't like make I'm sense. Saying before oh. because she wasn't, she was on a, a not on a momentum streak, fucking. Uh, not at all. Crazy. She really wasn't for her to no, get. She wasn't. And she does deserve it. I I don't want people to mistake what I'm saying is like I'm I'm putting her down. She deserves that belt because she she's she's done a great job. Uh, she deserves it more than Naomi. Matches. Right, right. But the problem is the way they set it up was just bad. exactly I mean, that was like my problem. Setup. That was my problem with it. All the title and changes. And make honestly, no sense. honestly, I, I really thought I would I would have preferred Charlotte holding that belt until maybe because she she's yeah, been holding I, that title I, back. I would have yeah. And also with, that. with 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 Alexis Bliss. I, Wow, man! Why? Why? It just doesn't make any sense. But no, you know, you know, you know what? It, what, it, what? A little bit of the reason, even though I don't think it's the full reason, but you know, she is uh, Naomi is from Orlando, and she yeah, wants to yeah, walk in there with the title. And I, and again, like, all she's gonna do is hold it. Hold it, All she's gonna do is hold it for either uh, Mickey James or Alexa Bliss. Yes. That's it. That's, that's exactly what, she, what I was gonna say. Point. And I After think this, I Mickey think James. This, sorry, guys. I said this. Wait, hold on. I said this like like a few weeks ago that. You gave the belt to Cena, which is a stupid move because you just stupid. took it away. That's another stupid It was a stupid – yeah. you took the belt away from AJ just to have him have the 17 uh, – what is it, 16, 17, whatever Yeah, 16. It is, yeah. Just to tie it and then just to drop yep. it was such I agree. a pointless mm-hmm. fucking thing. Now, pointless. now Cena is jobbing because we all know where he's heading, right? We all know right. he's going to take a fucking months of absence and shit. What was the point of giving him the belt? Just to break that fucking record. It was stupid. Well, they, they, if they were going to give it to Bray, then he should have beaten I, AJ. I want to bring it. in one thing because I was really yeah. curious about Ric Flair's uh, records compared to John Cena. Of course, yeah. we already talked about how they've held the title different times. Uh, but yeah. I got two things for you. Number one, for combined title reigns, 
Ric Flair has held championship gold for approximately 3,700 days compared to John Cena's 1,600. And wow. number two, for the 16th reign for both, both men, John Cena has lasted two weeks. Ric Flair's lasted an hour. His 16th title reign lasted one hour. Wow. This was in 2000 when he won the title. Uh, no, he didn't win it. He was given the title by Kevin Nash and then lost right. it that same night. Uh, I think Scott right. Stein, Jeff Jarrett. And we, and we talked about this last week. Um, I, me, for me personally, I, I, I don't think it's a cool or big thing to win 16 times, uh, you know, no, especially in a very short. No, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Especially, <laughs> especially in a very short amount of time, which relatively 10 or 12 years could be construed as that. But, but Byron was a hundred percent right. When you know, when the elimination chamber started, I was like, Oh man, you know, now I'm starting to get the feeling like Bray's gonna win this. And I'm like and then by the way, John Cena loses in the elimination chamber and the last two guys are AJ and Bray. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like exactly. what? But you know, but let's let's get I, Byron, I don't know if you heard me earlier. Did you see that they put mats on the chamber floors? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? That. Like that that made it to me like so corny as hell, man. Yeah. Corny, corny as hell. But going back to the to the Elimination Chamber match itself, let's take away the fact that they put mats, which bothered I'm sorry, but once I saw that, it just took me completely out of the match. And I I know it's a little small thing, but it bothered me. Because but, they were also pushing the fact that, oh, they drop on fucking uh Yeah. You know, the steel and this and that. And, and the crowd were, started to well, notice. The crowd started to notice after a while. They were like, hmm, they're, you know, they're not bumping anymore. Um, but, but but then you also look at the way the Elimination Chamber match actually went down. And it's just like, it was just really poor, no, poor execution say, across the board. I'm going to tell you this much. Tell you this much. I enjoyed the Elimination Chamber match because I thought it was a good match. But really? the whole setup towards the end was like, oh man, where is this going? Is this really going to go where everybody's expecting it to go? You know, that took me away from from enjoying it because I was enjoying it. I really was. Until the last fucking uh, four guys were in that ring. I was like, great. I didn't enjoy it at all. I I didn't think it was particularly good and I didn't think it was... uh, Wait, when was the last four guys in the ring? You thought Baron Corbett and Dean Ambrose were really going to make that much of a difference? Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was the last three guys. uh, Cena, uh, Bray Wyatt, and and AJ. AJ. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was was just poor execution. And now, by the way, you know, to top on the the shit pile, for me, personally... We're going into WrestleMania with a, a, a main event that, okay, I'm sure some people are because mm. the crowd is into it. I can't deny that. I'm not going to take that away. The crowd is somewhat into, for whatever reason, Bray Wyatt and, and Randy Orton. For me, uh, I could care less. But also, you top that, you, you put, to put on top of that, now I'm, now I'm supposed to get excited about a Baron Corbin and Dean Ambrose feud? <laughs> <laughs> Like, this is headed to the worst, uh, on paper, the worst WrestleMania I've seen in a long, long time, if ever. Uh, because <laughs> we, we haven't seen it yet, so we don't know for sure. But on paper, I am not looking forward to any match. Because at, as it stands right now, I, I think Brock and Goldberg is going to be the main event. I mean, duh. Soon, us, please. I'm telling you, I think it's going to be the main event. Based on, based on, Randy and Bray, to me, does not come across as a main event of WrestleMania. In, in any realm. I'd be very surprised if that's the actual last match. To me, Goldberg and Lesnar, because the last time, and I think Goldberg might win the Universal title, as if that means anything. Uh, but I, I just thought, all across the board, man, I'm, I'm just not happy with... Uh, and, and by the way, I mm-hmm. should be happy, because you know it wasn't that long ago. I mean, it's been a while, but it wasn't that long ago that we were very much into Bray Wyatt. Yeah. I mean, this it should have been a cool thing when Bray Wyatt won the title, but I, I, I just didn't feel it. Yeah, yeah no, listen, you know what? You know what's won crazy? A high profile match in a long time, man. I just didn't feel it, man. If you didn't, if you didn't know the dirt sheets and read the internet, and you would have saw it live, I know people was like, "What? Like, really?" <laughs> all, like, I know, I know that had to be everybody's reaction. It's all. Know it, what was the outcome? It's all about um, perception, and it's all about momentum. And Bray Wyatt is probably as at, at his lowest in momentum. Yes. This is probably the lowest he has as in momentum-wise. 
You know, that's when you give him the title. By Luke Harper, but you know what I mean? It's just getting lower. And, lower. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I, I like, I like, I like tonight. Like Randy Orton, um, you know, succumbs to the master. Like we don't yeah. know where that's going. Like, we come on, that. man. He's gonna kneel one day. He's gonna hit him with an RKO. Yeah, that's course. exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, of course, of course he is. It's Which he, is so and that's fucking my, obvious. Yes. And that's my other problem with it is is that this is this has been the most predictable couple of months I've ever seen. Honestly, I mean, easily predictable. The only thing that we got primarily wrong was we all had Alexa, I think, winning. Uh, that was a little bit yep. of a surprise with Naomi, but uh, everything uh, else across the board has been very predictable. I very think predictable. Uh, outside that, because I actually still got the scores from the this week's. Okay. Uh, the person with the most points was actually me on this week nice. uh, because I was the one that called Dolph. I was the only person that called Apollo Cruz and uh, yeah. Apollo Cruz and Kalisto yeah. winning. Everyone else thought Ziggler was winning and me and Laura were the only ones that thought Becky was going to beat Mickey James, but everything regarding the upper card regarding Randy Orton and Luke Harper, for example. Yeah. Everyone was pretty much right except for the chamber because we did not want to believe that the chamber match <laughs> was going to go towards Bray Wyatt because it was just like that doesn't make a you lick know, of sense. We, we we've had this guy that I, did I was all for it actually. I was all for Bray, you know, winning the belt. It was like it was like I mean, okay. Yeah. Uh, none yeah, of us I'm were. Like, I'm very cool. Years ago, I was. None yeah, of us were really yeah, against yeah, two years ago. <laughs> None of us were really against <laughs> the last two fucking months. It sounded like none of us were really against him winning it. It was just yeah, exactly. none of us really believed it was actually going to happen. Man. I like I like the fact that he is the champion, but the problem with the the whole thing is is he's he's going up against Randy Orton, which is something that I don't give a fuck about, and that's why yeah. that's why we're not caring about him being the champion. I, I I like that he's the champion. Don't get me wrong. It's just that who the fuck is he really facing at Mania? But by, but, by, but by or two years ago, we would have been mm. uh, ecstatic about Bray Wyatt winning the title. Oh, yeah. I, for first sure. of all, I don't like the fact that AJ is not the champion. So anybody who's the champion now is yeah. not going to be on yeah. And by, and by the way, by, and by the way, really quick, before I forget this, Bray and John, you know, Bray did have a good reaction when he came out. But guess who had a bigger reaction? AJ Styles. AJ yeah. Styles. Exactly. <laughs> He, when he came out there, he blew both of them out of the water. And it's like the fans are yeah, like, Bray, yeah. Bray's, the, the, the one thing I love about, about Bray Wyatt, and, and this is something that's been a big point with me, he can just, he can fucking sell ice to an Eskimo. He's yeah. got that rock ability. He does. He does. His, his, his preacher ability. Does he like, still he have it, so though? Good on, the, on the stick. Oh, God, he does. Yeah, he's yeah, no, he guy. does. He does. He has it, but it doesn't. I, I don't know, man. I feel like his promos is, doesn't, it doesn't capture like it used to. You know? Oh, no, nah, nah. still good. Yeah, Bray Wyatt is still Bray Wyatt. It's, it's, it's a situation. Like the situation that they put him in is not that great. Yeah, his position yeah. right now is just not capturing. It's not the same, man. It's just, I don't feel it. Uh, I, I, I'm telling you, man. Two you years ago, time. I would have, I would have been, I, I would have jumped out of my seat. In all honesty, with Bray Wyatt, because we had this guy who did the remix. We were talking about like, man, how awesome Bray Wyatt was. But we have not felt that way or said anything about that in a long yeah. time. I remember a couple episodes. I said I gave up hope on Bray Wyatt. That's how much yeah. losing high profile matches, and it's like now you just don't the belt. Like, That's what I'm I saying. Think like, he still has it, dude. Yeah. It's just the situation he's put, put in. Yeah. But but I, I agree thing. with that. Another I thing, I know, I, I know of Daniel course. Bryan last night, or not last night, but when uh, I'm talking smack, I, actually after the pay-per-view, he really, he really said this like a couple of times where, well, we don't really know what's going to happen. Who's really yeah, going to fight? Yeah, he you kept, know, saying, he kept that, saying that shit. And I think there's still hope. I don't think they, they want everybody to really put their, their money that this is going to be their main event. I, I feel I like know. they're trying to fuck with us. Because of what they did tonight, I don't know if it's just because Randy Orton's going to turn his back on him. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, as come far on, as I know, Remember, you I, don't know that. I, listen, I'm only hoping. I'm only hoping. I'm only really? hoping. Listen, I'm only hoping that for some freaking reason, AJ Styles versus Bray Wyatt would be the better match. I think I, you know. No, I, in all honesty, I think the match they had tonight should have been the match. Oh yeah. Uh, also, also, it was such also, a good match today, man. That was a great match. They anytime they AJ, blew Raw out of the water with that match. Yeah, anytime AJ and Cena are, are against each other, man, you know you. No, you, but I'm saying that triple threat match as a whole with all three of them was was that should have been WrestleMania. I would have been okay with that. I would have been totally fine with that. 
But yeah. I'm telling, but but Byron, you, you're gonna really say that you don't know if Randy Orton <laughs> is gonna turn on Bray Wyatt? Yeah, come it's on. pretty I'm obvious. Just, I mean, now that he's just, publicly just, saying you, I'm I am your hoping. servant. Come on. Yeah, come on. That, that, I'm just there's hoping. no way. I'm just hoping. Yeah, Listen, well, you're, you're wrong on that. Me. You're wrong on that one. Let me can live. Just, Damn. <laughs> yeah, before, before we get into Raw, can we talk about the Harper and, and Randy Orton match? Cause yes. Honestly, I really, really. Really enjoyed that match a whole lot more than almost any match on that pay per view. In fact, I Harper. felt like Luke Harper actually reminded the fans because you know how quick the fans. Yes, who he I is, agree. What's, his, what's his ability? And that I was agree. a great match, man. Really good. Harper Harper is really better than people think he is. Way better, actually. Oh yeah, I've I've known that for quite some time. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like I feel like the yeah. the match that he had on Sunday is the reason why he came out towards the ending today. I guess they figured, mm-hmm. you know, whoa, this guy can still go, and you know, let's put him in a. You know, a high-profile feud because let's be honest. Either either he's gonna keep feuding with Bray Wyatt or he's gonna go back to the Wyatts eventually after Randy Orton. So I, I don't yeah. know where they're gonna go. But I agree though. I, I, I agree with you. I, I think that was the show stealer. That that was the show stealer. Harper really can go, man. Still can I, go. I'm right now just very, watching very uh, on our stream Ricky this Steamboat is, versus Vader. Can I, can man, this match is hope. terrible. Can my brother have hope. That's no. <laughs> That's probably the most obvious uh, thing that I, I've ever Stop seen. It. <laughs> when Randy Orton kneels before Bray, I mean, yeah. God, you're killing my dreams here, man. Jesus. I thought, I thought, I thought for a second, uh, for a second that he was I gonna hit the RKO gonna tonight, but yeah. I guess they're gonna wait. But you know, but there's one thing about it. Even though we know what's gonna happen, he doesn't have the same reaction or. The no, fans like didn't. I really want you to flip on Bray yeah. Wyatt like Daniel Bryan. Remember when Daniel Bryan, Bryan, when no, they, Bray Wyatt? They, they, they will go crazy for Danny Bryan to to do something yeah. to him, and he wouldn't he wouldn't do it. It's not the same with Randy Orton. It's but, like, but, yeah, in, whatever. but in defense of Randy, though, there wasn't a lot of people or that was no. even close to Daniel Bryan yeah. <laughs> in that regard. That's and that was a different Bray yeah. Wyatt too. That was a yeah. Bray Wyatt that everyone talked about. But I, I got this I, question for you guys. Exactly, that's true. Going into Mania, who would be the face? Bray Wyatt. Is I tell you why. I, I tell you. I tell you why. Bray Wyatt, whether we like it or not, or wh- however people feel, he had an amazing reaction when he came out in the beginning, and a much bigger one than Randy Orton. People were with Bray Wyatt at the end there. I don't know if people noticed that. It wasn't it's Randy still, Orton that was getting that. The same top. like two years ago. Remember how no, the it wasn't. Was thing, uh, you know, you got the whole world in right. your hands. I don't know. Like, like, did you watch the opening through. promo? Because they were they were with him. They were with him, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, to me, he I got mean, a much me, much better reaction he, than Randy Orton. I'll tell you is that. Is it me though? But at the end of the night, when they both were facing off, nobody gave a shit. Nobody. I, I, no, exactly. I agree with that. That it didn't get the reaction that a WrestleMania main event should get. That's yeah. for sure. It's just, yeah. That's for sure. And the it's, funny it's, thing, it's the funny thing is, they're both they're both like. Okay, it's time to look at the crowd and look at yeah. the, and look at the crowd. It didn't work. I hate though. that. I hate that. It didn't work, it didn't I, don't work. Know. I hate that whole like structural thing that they have. You know, the the the, the stuff with um. James Ellsworth just gets on my fucking nerves like nobody's business. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> man. And it's not, Finally, it's you, not, you came to your senses, man. I'm so happy. No, it's not. It's not, but it's not, it's not because I, you know, I'm just trying to hate Ellsworth. Uh, you know, it's the structure of the situation. The fact that he waits till the camera's on for him to be like, hey, it's Valentine's Day. It's just like, I hate stuff like that. You do do that, I, I, I hate stuff like that. Yeah, like, hey, <laughs> like the camera's on. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I so want to be his did you, ass tonight. Yo, did you oh, listen to God. Did, did you listen oh, to Laura, you finally don't like him good. About time. time. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 Jimmy, I, like, I'm sitting here and I'm watching. I'm going, Dean, just grab him by the necklace and drag his ass to ring. I thought that yeah. would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry, so but corny, I, I kind of, I, I kind of enjoyed it, Carmella like using him and like making him what? put him in, in danger. Like, I like the fact that she. Wait, you the, just listen, said that listen, out loud. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> The gimmick is horrible, but I like her part. She's putting him in danger. Oh my you god, know what I'm they're, they're both horrible. Up. You know, what I mean, it's just. The only thing, the only thing that I liked, and I hate admitting this, is when he said, 
don't boo her. The only boo she has is me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, but wait a minute. I like that chick. That was funny. I like her. I think she has a lot of. I don't, I, I don't think so. I, think she, I think she could get on that mic also and go up. And Not go. as a wrestler. Just as a, somebody that would like use a guy. You know, stuff like that. Like she's I don't doing know, right I now. Like her. I like her. I never said that. I never thought that she was. She didn't have it. I think she does have it. I think they're just putting her in a. I thought. I thought know, she did when she was it. with. Um, I thought she did have it when she was with uh, Enzo and uh, Kaz, but I mean, um, yeah, yeah, yeah right. I don't like. Yeah, it, it's annoying me. It's annoying me. That's all I can say. I don't like it. I wanted Dean Ambrose to literally, not wrestling wise, I wanted him to literally beat the shit out of this guy. <laughs> and I really thought he was gonna do it. So the, the way the way he sold it, I wanted great, him to but... break his jaw. I want. I really did, man. I, I just like. I, and by the way, it's not just solely, um, D- uh, Ellsworth. You know, he's he's just a he's just the newest cog in the rotating, uh, you know, crap that we've seen for years and years. You know, Gilbert. Uh, th- yeah, Gilbert. Guy, guy, guys that have done it for time. years. Guys that have done it for years. I did not find that segment funny with Gilbert coming out. I'm sorry. The only reason oh, no. why, because I, I knew what... he was going to. Hold on. Let me just say this one part. Wait, Gilbert came out? Yeah, Gilbert was out, out last night. <laughs> Listen, really? let me tell you something. The reason why I didn't find it funny because we saw this with Jericho in WCW. We seen him with Jericho say, and introducing Goldberg and the midget Goldberg come out, right? So it was kind of <laughs> obvious that Gilbert was going to come out. And on top of that, The Rock already did that already. Yes, so. So what? So it was like, what what you mean, so what? It, was, it wasn't a surprise. That's the point. I've seen it. It's like, yeah, I've seen this shit a million times. It was, it was funny. Yeah, but, but oh, that wasn't really the point of the segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The segment was for them to break up, but here's this quick thing, and it was awesome because Gilbert is still. Everybody got so you know everybody got so excited to see Gilbert. That's the point. I'm like, didn't you see this a million times already? You know, you know. By the way, I hate to admit this. I don't know why I missed that part because I did watch that segment, so I don't even know how I missed that. But (laughs) it was that quick. But well, okay, so. But I actually liked that segment, man. I loved it. It it actually it happened like right after the commercial break. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Like and it was he, like it looked like he stayed frozen the entire fucking right. commercial break. <laughs> that actually, that's, it's pretty much right after that happened, and, and Kevin just beat the out of the ring, yeah. the jet out of him. And that was as fast as he was there. Wow. Yo, that uh, painting was hilarious. That yeah, was, that was real. Real. <laughs> You know what that? I said, "What? My the kids hell? are watching this." <laughs> yo, yo, Kevin Owens sold this so great. <laughs> Yo, by the way, um, that reminded me of the Rock and Mick Foley segment. That that's how that's that's what it reminded me of because I was like, this is a great fucking segment. Like Jericho sold the shit out of that out of that segment. Like nobody has ever sold anything in their life. I loved it, man. That was the that was the and true the three nights that we've had besides the triple threat match. That was the shining thing for me uh, out of the three nights. Yeah, I love that. That was beautifully done. For you guys. Beautifully done. Let me put this, let, can, I put, can I put something into perspective yes. for you guys real quick? Please. <laughs> as, as much as the WWE has been fucking with us lately, what would you say if we go to Fastlane and we get to Kevin versus Goldberg? What right. if Jericho cost Kevin the match that's, and that's ended exactly, this qualification yeah. and Kevin yeah, still the champ? Like. No, I, I think Jericho, if anything, he's going to cost him the title. That's what yeah, I think. <laughs> or, 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 or we get a title for title match at WrestleMania. Exactly. Nah, I don't think so. I would love that. I don't think so. They might do it, dude, because remember, they both, first of all, Brock Lesnar is also going to interfere. I cannot I don't, see him I don't letting, know. letting Goldberg win the belt. Right. I don't think he's going to do that. I don't know. They have a they have a hard on for Goldberg right now, and I think oh, he's yeah, going to win the title. They got a serious hard on for him. Absolutely, that's what I think. A Valentine's hard on for Goldberg. That's what they got. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jericho is going to cost Owens that title, man. When and that then, happened uh, last and, night, and, and, and then Owens is going to cost him his career, and that's when you're going to see Jericho go. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, that when that happened last night, that was the first thing I thought about. I was like, oh, that's how they're going to get the belt. Another off of Owens. loser leave town match was honestly. I'm so tired of it. And by the and by the and by the way, another another shining moment for me about Raw last night um, was the Samoa Joe per, uh, interview thing. I, I loved what Samoa Joe did. They have done really, really good. Yes, Damn, I missed yeah, it, man. What happened? Because I fell asleep at that moment. 
The only thing that's been pissing me off about Samoa Joe is that the assistant of him attacking attacking from behind. Yeah. That shit well, irritates me. He's just a troll. It it's doesn't building, it's, yeah, it's building yeah. his badass character, though. He's not supposed he's just, to, you know, challenge you to a match as as a heel. He's he's supposed supposed to he has to beat you up. Hey, excuse me. Please yeah, he's not. He's not gonna be like. Uh, he's not gonna be like John Gallagher. But I have a duel, please. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not about like. Would, can I have a I duel, would even please? Him, like a, t- you know, just straight up, like stepping up into somebody's face and punching him in the goddamn face. Yeah. yeah. I can we? That. Can I say one thing? Speaking of Jack, Jack Gallagher, whatever his name is, how much of a like amateur he looked next to Neville, man? I, I'm sorry, but Neville really looked like the superstar, and Jack Gallagher looked like I don't know, man. He looked like something else. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, 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 nah, I like Jack Gallagher, so. Yeah, no, Jack's no, no, no. Great. We like him. I'm talking about them side by side. It's just, no, I know, yeah. Neville yeah, looked I know like a superstar, let's be honest. Of course, yeah. I mean, in that regard, but I, I, I think Jack Gallagher is going to surprise a lot of people when they, when they have that match. Well, who really cares? I, Next time. I, I do. Yeah, I, I do like, too. I like, I like Jack Gallagher. Gallagher in the ring. I think he's okay, but I think that umbrella thing is getting cut. No, out no, out it's of not him. bad. It's not bad. I'm just saying this is not going to go nowhere. So next segment. Well, <laughs> I, I disagree with that. But... Can I help you? We're not gonna. Uh, we're, we're not even watching fucking the the the, the cruiserweight. <laughs> what are we? These guys oh, we're are speaking... doing the shit now. Yeah. That's speaking. Not, no, 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 no. That's not. Five after I watch NXT. That's how unimportant the, sh- the fucking 205 is. Really Speaking of 205 that. Live, yeah, it was right. hilarious. No, no, but, Byr- but, Byr- but Byron is saying, Laura, is that we're not watching the Cruiserweights, period. <laughs> yeah, we are. I am. I am. I know. I, I, I am, well. too. Like, I, I, I actually enjoy a lot, of, a lot of their stuff. I mean, yeah. the crowd obviously doesn't, but... There's some great talents <laughs> in there with, with uh, Jack the Gallagher, crowd, as we said. Mustafa yeah, you Ali. are in the crowd, actually. <laughs> 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 I like it, though. I, Neville, to me, has elevated that. Um, I think they have characters now with Jack Gallagher. I even like TJ Perkins. Mustafa Ali's fantastic. Cedric Alexander is getting better every week. Noam Dar is getting better every week. They're they're building, man. They're they got potential now. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody's talking at wait. Everybody's talking at once. Go ahead, man. All right. The only thing that I like about that cruiserweight division is Neville. That's it. And I don't even watch most of his shit when it's not uh, on Raw. Austin Aries shit. is coming. I don't, I don't watch Yeah, it. that's true. Speaking of uh, Austin that's Aries, true. the big true. rumor right now, because Austin Aries is clear to compete, is Aries versus okay, Neville but, for but, WrestleMania. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. They need more top guys like Austin Aries. They, they, don't, they, they are getting them, though. Oh, they yeah, they're are. building them. They are. That's the rumor match for WrestleMania, bro. Wait, wait. I hope so. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. So the rumor match is um, Neville and Aries? Yeah, yeah, because he is clear oh, that, to compete, that's looking to be the match from WrestleMania. That's nice. You, you know what's funny about that is that I'm I was so gonna... happy it's not Rich Swan. God, thank you. It's like I'm telling you, who? You know, every time Rich, <laughs> the, the, the guy, the Rich guy, the guy, the guy that runs, hold on, the guy that runs down the aisle because he's mad at Neville with music that makes you want to gyrate and shake your ass. Like, come on, man. That's, that's, that's why I, I don't, I, I don't I even know who that is. Though. The former cruiserweight champion, but I mean, they yeah, he's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, definitely, that's not, that's not helping Byron. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like the 205 Live in the Cruiserweight division, it definitely started with a whimper with TJ Perkins not having much yeah, personality, yeah. with Brian Kendrick not being the top heel you needed, and with what Rich Swan been? dancing around. But Neville's bringing it back. Jack yeah, Gallagher. He's bringing it back, man. Jack, they had a six man tag match last no week. No one, no one, Dar is yeah. really good. They had a six man um, tag match last uh, week with oh, TJ Perkins, Cedric oh. Alexander, and Jack Gallagher. <laughs> Jack won. TJ went for the fist bump with uh, both guys. Instead of fist bumping them, Jack just shook their fist like a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that guy, that guy is really, really good, man. He yeah. he makes me interested in that mm-hmm. in that cruiserweight division, even as much as Neville. And and believe me, you telling me that Neville's gonna fight Aries now. By the way, we were we were excited about Neville and um. Kota I Bushi. forgot who the cruiserweight. No, the cruiserweight champion at the Royal Rumble, and we were disappointed oh, Rich in that. Won. So I don't. Yeah. I, but but well, you know we are you? we are talking about the greatest man who ever lived, and the funny right. thing is, is that I was going to say that, you know, even before you even told me that, that I thought like if 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 uh, Aries came back, and was in there with Neville in, in some capacity, I thought um, Aries was going to be the good guy because I think people are going to just want to cheer uh, Aries. For no, you know, even I think that's job. where they're heading because if you notice what was it last week, 
yes. that when Aries yeah. was trying to interview Neville, Neville was yes. just straight up snobbing him that whole damn time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, mentioned, I, I, I just think that the crowd's going to go with Aries. No I think what. Aries is going to go Neville, very Neville's similar to deal. like a Dean yeah, Ambrose gonna, type thing, where he's just a complete uh, jerk to you, but he's oh, still going to be a face. Yes. <laughs> please, please, gentlemen. <laughs> what? Now hold on. Let me put my foot down. I'm standing. I was hearing Byron more than I was hearing Sean. I'm hearing yeah, Sean. Wait, well, <laughs> you know why? Because Sean's Sean is a little low on our end. So Sean, what were you saying? Uh, I was oh, saying my... that. Uh... Oh. oh God! <laughs> I just lost my. I, I, I gave you. I gave you the mic for that. <laughs> I was saying that like Austin Aries is going to be very much uh, a face like Dean Ambrose will be, where he's going to be a complete jerk throughout the yeah, entire yeah. setup, but he's still going to be cheered, just like how he was his entire career, really. Yeah, now, I agree. What I wanted to say, man. First Go ahead. of all, okay. I one thing I don't like. First of all, I w I definitely would like to watch a match between them two because I think it would be such a great match. There we go. But, but, <laughs> here's the but, all right? Sean already know. I feel, I feel like Austin <laughs> Aries at that point is going to be lost. And he's he's going to be <laughs> what? In, in that <laughs> What? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold oh, on. Let me finish. Let me finish. I think he's going to be lost in the Cruiserweight division where he had a better, uh, I think he would have been better as a regular at NXT facing top guys. I'm sorry. That's just my. I, I, this is, hold on, hold on. Him doing those commentary has actually got him yeah. like a lot yeah. of yeah. Yeah. I agree. Him a lot more than before. Then he was in NXT. Absolutely. And Byron, oh, by the turn way, your he's phone off. He, he he's already on the main roster, Byron. He's gonna make noise, man. He's gonna make right. noise. I, I just hope that it's not just the cruiserweight where they keep him because I think he would just mm -hmm. not. Well, I don't think he true. would succeed there as much as if he was facing a Samoa Joe, oh, okay, a fucking AJ Styles, I mean, fucking Kevin Owens. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to see him just facing those guys. So you oh, don't I mean, want him to be Sami Zayn? <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather see somebody that I know at this point and has some kind of fucking credibility. I mean, listen, I don't want to say anything that's going to piss people off because I already know it's going to happen. You I'm already do. Seeing, you already do. <laughs> I would prefer to see him somewhere facing the top guys because I think he's such a good wrestler and he has a name I don't want him to get mixed up in the whole fucking cruiserweight where he just gets lost in there and nobody and then everybody starts not paying attention to him and he nah, starts, I, don't, I, don't, I, I, I really thought that that's going to happen to him though Aries is way too talented to just disappear anybody could be talented just like well, I mean, Sammy Zayn no, yeah, yeah, Sammy, like yeah, Sammy Zayn is talented too okay, Sammy Zayn isn't talented, talented like Austin Aries though really like when you think of lost at all when you think yeah, of Austin, I, I, feel, I feel like I feel like the commentary is like revived his, his career mm -hmm. a little bit in WWE. When you think of like Sammy's, nobody nobody was talking about Austin Aries when he was at NXT. When you were talking, now they well, talking about him. When you were talking about Sami Zayn or El Generico, you always talked about his matches. But when you're talking about Austin Aries, you always talk yeah. about his matches and the fact that the guy's a dick. The guy was yeah. able to carry the mic and carry the ring. That's what makes Aries so different. I feel like he is too talented to just disappear. I think I think if they do it the right way, Aries can uh, really help with that cruiserweight division. If anything, he could bring it up rather than it bring it him down. I really, you know? but, you, but you get my point, right? No, I, I, I get feel, what you're saying. I just feel I, like I do. Uh, they definitely they definitely need star power on that fucking uh, cruiserweight division. They de they definitely need it. So he would be one of the guys. I think they need to call fucking Rey Mysterio there. I think they need to call a couple of guys that people are aware of I mean, to make that start. Like people wanting to fucking tune in and, and pay attention to this shit. I mean, yeah, we've seen him on Raw it, it, here and there, and we don't know who the fuck he is, and this who the fuck is that guy this week, and that I don't know who the fuck is who. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Word, you're not, you're not, you're not excited for Akio Matata, whatever his name is, the guy with that, de the guy with the Dude, devastating uh, I, 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why do you keep saying the Lion King Akuna Matata thing? Alright, Akuna Matata. Because he right? loves to harass T Tozawa. <laughs> and, uh, dude, that guy could you fucking see that your head oh, wait. And oh, that, that twice. That's the, guy that, that's the guy that gave me my Chinese food earlier. <laughs> Akira Tozawa. Like, say it like after me. But let me, oh, but let me tell you. Say it after me. Akira Tozawa. Tazawa. Akuna Matata. Forget about him, which is true. The problem is, remember, shit happens when you fucking go into a fucking place where everybody's not really tuning into, 
and you start fizzling out. But let, me, but, let me, but let me tell you, but let me say this, Byron. If he was in NXT right now, he still right. wouldn't be anywhere better than what he is doing right now because yeah. Bobby Roode and Chris Hero are the main attractions no, right now. True. That's not true because people it is are, true. are but there's more people tuning into that shit. I don't know. Is. I don't know about all uh, that. Okay, let me counter argument, Byron. You're saying NXT, that NXT is not NXT is not hot like that anymore. I know, I know, but they're thinking about canning can the fucking uh, cruiserweight. I mean, it's been fucking talked about. Like they're not yeah. really that well. They're but not, let, let's say let's say they do can it. Let's say they do can it. I think Aries will still be all right. Yeah. yeah well, that's know. because he'll be let go of that fucking division, and then he'll he'll be able to branch out. Well, and fight yeah. yeah. And shit. I mean, but, to me, Aries should be on SmackDown if they go that route. Yeah. I, I I would prefer seeing him on a Tuesday night, to be honest with you, than fucking seeing him at a cruiserweight division that I don't even fucking tune into. I don't. I don't tune in. Just to really make I a counter argument, you're talking about like being on a dying ship, essentially, kind of like the 205 Live is. The counter argument is you are talented enough. If you are good enough to make wow. some of a statement then you could really continue to thrive. That, that, Examples that being Ethan... Be, the examples work. being Ethan Carter the Third and Matt Hardy in TNA. That ship's been sinking for three years, but you know what? They've been making enough volumes that people that's are that, interested. That ship's been sinking a hell of a lot longer than <laughs> yeah. years. A lot, a lot longer than that. <laughs> Just but you get my point. So, like, if Tool Live starts sinking, <laughs> but then Austin Aries walks in, if he can keep it afloat, people will stay interested. And then, who knows? It might be able to turn around. I still have faith, you, especially you, concerning the potential see, that's going to come. Right now, but you even said it right now. Maybe. I didn't say maybe. There. I said if he joins that thing and, and keeps maybe. it afloat, that will be enough for them to turn it around. No, you said maybe. I heard you. No, I said but, if. But also, but also <laughs> Sean, it doesn't, uh, talent and being awesome doesn't always get you what NXT you want. Guys. The NXT guys going to Raw. That's a perfect example. <laughs> but not, but not all of them. But not all of them. Not all of them. But there's a, there's a few guys that, man, they were talented as hell. You, I was like, listen, I've always said it. I was behind Sami Zayn. I was happy to see him on Raw. He's not that. Even guy even Samoa even Samoa Joe made fun of Sami Zayn. <laughs> yeah, well, you see what I'm saying. And and you know what's crazy? Now now he just he started coming back up. They started to push him again. All of a sudden, who's taking him out again? A big guy taking him out. He's going to go, what, strive to beat this guy now every week, and then Damn. he's going to lose every week? And what what is Samoa Joe going to do at WrestleMania? Fight Sami Zayn. AJ Styles? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I mean, we, I don't know. There's so, so many matches for WrestleMania, and so many names that are there. They're just pointless of being there right now. They brought up yeah. Samoa Joe to the Seth Rollins thing, but even if that was the case... It was going to be Triple H versus Seth at Manias. What the hell was the plan with him originally? Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. Unless, you know, Michael Cole did bother Joe by asking him about Triple H a lot, unless Joe's going to play Triple H, because we know Triple H has to get his big nose in there somewhere. I didn't even know, I didn't know Santino Morello fought Sam, man. I'm watching the fucking... Uh... Yeah, that was a Monday Night Raw. You fought who? Uh, the Sandman. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then the Sandman used that uh, Kendo stick on him. No, this was know, just a straight match. Uh, Santino match. I could tell you that much. Santino <laughs> Morella uh, himself all over the place and landing on his head. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what the Sandman used to do. Sandman kind of bump for shit. <laughs> yeah, <he can. laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like that's that. why he got. That's why he got shit faced every show because he just could not do shit. So yeah, no, he was all entrance. But you know, like I said, but that's what I'm saying. Like Samoa Joe's doing a, you know, they. I think they've done a really good job with the last two weeks with Samoa Joe. The oh, really good have. promo, really good uh, first introduction. He beat Roman Reigns in a really good match. Yeah, um, yeah. Where do you go with him though at WrestleMania though? <laughs> because I hope it's not Sami Zayn. No, no offense to Sami, but it's not exactly a, again another dream match. And that's just across the board with all the matches that we. See, yeah, but that's the crazy thing. You quick. just got this guy on the roster, and you have to put him in a dream match at least. You know, uh, not Sami Zayn. I mean, we I think we saw him face Sami Zayn, I think, right? Am I mistaken? Or... I'm not sure. I don't think so. But it's still not a match that I'm like, yeah! You know? <laughs> yeah, me either. <laughs> it's not something that I, I'm going to go crazy about. You know, that's no. a match that's never happened. 
I just I'm looked it up. I, I, I wanted to see. I wanted to see if it actually had ever it happened like it has. in but Ring it of like Honor. <laughs> Whoa! It's it's a match that, that never. Happened. I think I think it'll happen at Fastlane. I don't think it'll happen at WrestleMania. Yeah. Most likely, yeah, because I don't think they're gonna wait that long. Since but then again, the question is, who does he face at WrestleMania? Who does Roman Reigns face at WrestleMania? Triple H. Oh, oh God, I hope not. <laughs> well, we we've already we. You, by the way, that's already a proven. That's already a proven. That's already a proven disaster. That's already a proven disaster. <laughs> I don't know, man. And, and by the way, get this: the big match this week on Raw, Braun Strowman <laughs> against the Big Show. I can't wait for that. That's gonna be good stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy, wild stuff. I can't wait. Time is ticking. So, oh. so we, we we at least know Jericho and Owens. And, and you know what? That's actually a match that I do care about because that's that has uh, several months of story. You know, that's mm -hmm. an actual storyline match that I that I actually do care about. And I I that love has the way been building up for a long. Yeah, that's how you do. That's, you that's what WrestleMania is supposed to be like. Owens what and uh, Jericho. Oh yeah, yeah. That I think is the only that has thing a story. That, that they have, you know, they have been building up since he won the belt. I feel like yeah. they should have they should have saved that after um, Owens lost the belt. You know, they, they shouldn't have did it last Monday, bro. They should have did it where somehow Jericho couldn't, you know, help Owens retain the title, and then he, he flips on him. The no. next, you know, you know I thought about why that now. Too. You know he what I'm put, saying? He got him involved in the Goldberg thing. It, it makes sense. Yeah. He, he had Goldberg. Yes, you're gonna fight him. And, yeah, know, but it would have been more. It would have been more anticipation if he would have lost and then blamed him and then flipped on him for that. You know what I'm saying? Not now. I feel like it was out of nowhere. It wasn't. I don't. Right yeah. Time. And by the way, I don't think. I don't think always. Oh, the shock factor. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't think because I. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think always was gonna do that last night. I, I really didn't. But and I'm just speaking for myself, of course. But oh, no, but, you're, uh, you're, I'm with you on that. Same. I really, I really did not see that coming for some reason. Um, last night, I, I thought, I, I thought it was corny, and Jericho was obviously overselling it. But I didn't see Owens attacking him like that the way he did last night. I, I don't know. To me, it came out of left field. So that, which by the way, is always good for me. I, I like when I don't see things coming. A mile like when away. Naomi won the championship. That well, that's actually a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually the the bad version of not seeing something coming. But um, but I I I don't think um Owens is gonna say or or, you know, he's gonna say that he got mad because he he made uh, Owens fight Goldberg. I I don't I think it's gonna be a culmination of a lot of things. I don't think it's gonna be just Goldberg that he set up that match. You know, like I I think this has been brewing. I think it's been I, I think the corniness and the you know, uh, a lot of things, basically. I, I just don't think it's going to be solely that he gave him the match with Goldberg. This is going to be the reason. I think it's going to be a lot of things. But I still think Jericho is going to cost uh, Owens the, the title. Mm -hmm. Which means... I hope, I, hope, I hope Brock gets involved and he costs... Uh, I, I hope so, too. Because I would rather, I would prefer seeing Jericho and Kevin Owens face each other for the belt. I, I think Owens has earned the right to walk in at WrestleMania as the champion. That's why I, I did think. too. That's Especially why I because, uh, because uh, as he as wasn't as supposed as to be in that position. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, right. if you noticed, if you noticed that I said, I said that I don't, I don't know if you guys heard me, but Jericho did get kind of emotional towards the end. He was really stating that he had fun this this time around because he was he was doing the things with Owens, and I'm sure this. It, it's true. You get what I'm saying? Because he yeah. looked like he's been having some fucking fun this time around. But I, I would still prefer Kevin Owens going in, in into Mania with the belt, yeah. having Jericho face him. Me and too. I don't, I mean, obviously Jericho won't win because he's leaving also soon. So it's like, I would still prefer seeing them go at it with each other for the belt. I think yeah. it would just be such a better fucking uh, thing because they've been doing this shit for, they've been building it up for months. Yeah, as it stands right now, it's the only match that has a genuine story for months. And, I mean, you know, so does the Brock match, but we don't care. So, well, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, I really just, I just and do I, not want to see. I do not want to see Brock and Goldberg in the main event of WrestleMania. I yeah. don't want to see it. Do I. I don't want to see it at all. I'm, I no. <laughs> We we got we got to see it already. We've been there. We've done that. We don't need it any more. But I but I but I also think to top that, 
you know, Goldberg, I, and by the way, I'm a Goldberg guy. I gave him the benefit of the doubt, but I don't think Goldberg should walk in there because he got the reaction that he got and then immediately get a title over Owens. I think Owens yeah. has worked his ass off. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, you know, and I'm a Goldberg guy. And I and I was more excited uh, than I probably should have been for the Goldberg Lesnar, but if you're telling me that it's going to happen for a third time, you know, I haven't seen anything that tells me that I should be excited about that match. There's I was nothing behind, that tells me. Yeah, I was behind Kevin Owens for like the longest, and I, I mean, I'm glad he's in the position he's in now, and he's been doing everything. I mean, he's been the main event with Jericho on Raw. It, every, everything's been about them two guys, you know, and unfortunately, yeah. Brother Ray has got things down the second. Yeah, him too. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it, he does deserve to go into that fucking uh, WrestleMania with that belt. He's, he's, he does. he's actually made that belt uh mean something on, on Raw. Because, you know, I don't know if Finn Balor was going to be able to do that shit, to be honest with you. I, I think popularity-wise, maybe, but not the way Owens did it. No. Not, uh, he probably would have been way. able to carry the belt and carry Raw, but not the same way as Owens. You know, I would agree. We've talked about this before, but, you know, for what I saw for the short amount of time, and I'm just talking about main roster stuff, and even a little bit of NXT, to me, Finn Balor... And I saw him on the indies. He was amazing as Prince Devitt. You know, quality matches. He had a couple of quality matches in NXT, but to me, he became more entrance than matches. And I wasn't all that impressed with Finn Balor on the main roster. Um, so for me, Kevin Owens... <laughs> in uh, fairness, you only got two work. weeks of him on the main roster. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I just I think Kevin Owens has been quality since he got there. You know, he's been... He's been yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's it, got up there. Yeah. In, yeah. NXT, in NXT, he has not let me down in any way. He's had quality matches with Roman Reigns. I mean, you know, just uh, across the board, he's had quality matches. He's going to have an outstanding match with Jericho at WrestleMania. And you know Ooh. crazy? He he came into into uh, the main roster blazing, man. I mean, he, he blazing, was yeah. Cena and all types of shit. It was good all of a sudden. Out of nowhere, he started going down. I'm like, wait, he's going to fuck. Like, I was really into him a lot. But I noticed that he was he was starting to lose that momentum, and they started they started to throw him into things that didn't make any sense, and he's mm-hmm. out of shit. But if anyone, this year he's he's done good, man. He, they they gave him the opportunity to run with that belt, and he's done mm-hmm. such a great job. If anyone's listening um, to this on the download, uh, definitely check out the live stream because right now we're playing Rob Van Dam versus Jerry Lynn at Hardcore Heaven. Yeah, one of the greatest matches of that. Time period. Oh, it was oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I would. I, me personally, I would say one of the greatest matches of all time, but definitely of that time period, mm-hmm. yeah. without a doubt. Um, because that's WWE that's right. at that time period, they weren't doing quality matches. Kurt Angle had not hit his stride yet. Um, yeah. You know, there, there was a lot of you know the Rock was still on top, and Big Show was in the main I event. I mean, if so. anything, because uh, this was what ninety eight. Yeah. Yeah. The, the oh, WCW. Okay. WCW had some great think, quality matches at that time, it but it was all mid card though. Now it wasn't two thousand yet. You sure? Yeah, because that, that two thousand was when they did the no two thousand one was the invasion because yeah. Yeah, I thought it was two thousand, but whatever, whatever it was, it was a freaking amazing, amazing match. I've actually seen that recently, and I'm still in awe. And I, and I said a couple of weeks ago, if you could go back and watch something and still be in awe of it, that means it was great. Yeah. Because I've seen plenty of things where I look back and I'm like, oh, that is not good. Um, I want to ma- before before I forget, I want to mention something really quick. Um, they have the videos of the Hall of Fame showcase, the next pack that WWE release, and you know, th- there's already videos of all the entrances, Diamond yeah. Dallas Page. They did a really good job. They might have not done a good job on DVP currently or the last incarnation. But the old school DDP that they have is really good. Like I was like, whoa, that looks like you know before he became the big Diamond Dallas Page that he became. Um, you know, it was very early WCW Diamond Dallas Page, and they they had that really really well done. And also, Kerry Bond Eric looks really good. I was really impressed with that. So uh-huh. it looks like a good pack, man. It looks like a really really good pack. Uh, Free birds look awesome. Though, right? Yeah. Well, oh, that we know. Yeah. We actually also have a question from uh, Daniel Mendez from the live chat. Uh, he's curious. What do we think of the expedition of gold storyline that the Hardys are doing right now? Uh, it's before, going up. 
Before I answer that, how did, how does he know that we're live? <laughs> because he's li well, I mean, we posted it on the group page. It's live on the Facebook page. It's on the group page. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the product, Joey. Live, Follow the we're product. Live. <laughs> I, I, they only wake me up before the show. <laughs> it's, it's true. Uh, for well, those of you guys, uh, what do we think of the expedition of gold storyline the Hardys are doing in TNA? Uh, for you guys that don't know, pay attention to TNA. Well, no, let me explain I it no, first. I have no idea what that is. Let me explain guys, it. Guys, come on, you have to watch TNA. They explain. No. Let me explain it. Damn, gee. <laughs> no. Uh, the expedition. Dude, this is actually an awesome yeah, that's, story. That's, that's, that's oh, Sean's boo. This is, this is, yeah, this is Valentine's Day. You're talking about Sean's baby like that. Don't do that. So the like, boo. All right. The expedition of gold storyline TNA is doing is that the Hardy Boys are going to a bunch of wrestling promotions and bringing TNA camera crew with them and then filming these matches at. Uh, let, let's just say, for the sake of argument, Imperial Wrestling Entertainment, the where Laura and I work. And right. they're just filming these matches with these tag team champions, winning the belts, <laughs> and they're carrying the TNA titles and all the other TNA tag team, uh, all the other indie promotions belts. Like at uh, wow. upcoming at Ring of Honor, they have the Young Bucks against the Hardys, where the TNA titles and the Ring of Honor tag titles will both be on the line. Wow. So, I mean, honestly, I love the storyline. It's just that it's still in TNA. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, it'll never cross anywhere else. That, so, that, it, what, if you're talking main, main product, uh, as far yeah. as it's going to go, is Ring of Honor. I Maybe New Japan. Ring of Honor, so Ring of Honor is down with it? Yeah. They signed off wow. with it. I mean, if anything, it might go to New Japan because of the Ring of Honor deal and Noah, because Noah recently signed with uh, TNA with a partnership. So, Wait a minute. Joe, Joe King Noah signed with TNA? <laughs> no, Noah, the second biggest promotion oh. in Japan. Um, so not, not the basketball player from the Knicks. No. <laughs> Nobody wants to play for the Knicks, <laughs> but uh, so uh, they well, we, not... we know Charles Oakley doesn't want to play for the Knicks, but yeah, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I, I just I have not seen TNA in, in, a, in oh. a very long time. That's all I can say. But Was it sounds good... cool. Yeah, you know, I mean... it, it, it's you know, and it's not for you know, <laughs> well, mostly because I forget I forget what day it's on to be honest. <laughs> Every time I, I, I yeah. watched it and see the new stuff, and then it's so funny because <laughs> not even a week later, people, those same people that are like, "Oh, you need to give it a chance, you need to give it a chance." Oh man, it's all right back to right to the fucking beginning. Yeah. I'm sorry, what they're doing the Sandow right now is bullshit. Uh, that's Sandow's <laughs> pick because Sandow got What, what, what sick. are they doing to Sandow? Uh, he's what essentially he's essentially Sandow doing a, a Liberace uh, gimmick. Sort of. Gig. He's doing really? a fabulous Mark yeah. Merrill mixed with Damien Sandow kind of gimmick. He's Liberace. That was the marvelous Mark Merrill. Marvelous Mark Merrill. <laughs> so imagine Marvel, Ma marvelous Mac Mark Merrill and uh, wait, Damien wait, Sandow. Wait, wait, you seen this? Yes, he's gay. He wears lipstick. He wears fucking lip gloss and he's shit. Liberace. He's gay, man, feminine. Wow. And shit. No, but what, it's not wow. It's like not, it's not even entertaining. It's, it's no, like, I'm not. I'm I, fuck. I'm yeah, crazy. I'm not saying he wow in a good way. I'm he, he, left, he left the Fed yeah. for that. Yeah. Uh, again. Wait, did he leave the? Wait, wait, did he leave the Fed or was he fired? Yeah, WWE fired him. So. Oh, that's what. Yeah, that's why he left the Fed. <laughs> where his career is heading right oh, now wow. is nowhere. Um. Yeah. Was he. That, he, well, he you kind of you kind of have to have a career. <laughs> And just to be fair, that well, isn't yeah, TNA necessarily that. saying, hey, sure. how about you dress like a transsexual? No, it's literally what he picks. The TNA allows their guys to have free, complete freedom with their product and what they want yeah, to do. That, that's, that, that, yeah, that doesn't make it better. No, I, I just want to make sure people are going to blame the right person, okay? <laughs> this ain't I, I, just, I don't understand it. I, I really don't. Yeah. Is there really a right person to blame when it comes <laughs> hey, to I've got an idea. Let me wear some lip gloss and me. Is that what you really want to do? Why are you talking like that? Because <laughs> that's how he talks. Yo, hold on, hold on. Who's wearing makeup? That's Damien Sandow. <laughs> are you serious? Now known as Aaron Rex, yeah. yeah. Yo, can you are imagine? You can you, listen, listen. He's wearing makeup on his face, so he's playing yeah. trans gay. Can you imagine him saying, wow. this wait, wait, I want to do say trans gay? <laughs> no, no, no. He's, per he's portraying that he's gay in TNA now? Yeah. 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 
But you wow. know what's crazy is that the reaction we just had. Hey, like, every, hold on. <laughs> Everybody was excited for Sandow to go to TNA. Like, he was going to get a, a, a cool, yeah. like, jump start. Okay, I, let, let, wait, wait. Let's make something clear. I don't think anybody was excited about <laughs> Sandow. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I can't picture. I don't even think Sandow was excited about Sandow. <laughs> I can't picture him saying, "Well, guys, this is what I want to do," and everybody's like, "You know what? That's a good idea." You know <laughs> what? That's gonna. To... Yeah, that's yeah. The, what. That's what's gonna make you rise again. But in fairness, yeah, had a reaction as what? <laughs> in fairness, when the broken brilliance was created, do you really think TNA was as interested yeah. in that? I, at that point, it's just like, let's try this everything. Throw it at the board and see if it sticks now. I don't know. Yeah, but you know what? I, but, I, but I at least heard about the Hardys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the first I'm hearing about this. Sean, is he I like... Play that, though. That would have been funny. So Even his name it, was what? Damaris now? Damaris what, <laughs> No, Aaron Rex. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Aaron Rex. He would kind of went with his <laughs> legal name in us almost... He should call himself Sandow of Damien. <laughs> I still love how the Hardys call everyone. I mean, he's still calling the uh, Express that rocks and rolls. He challenges the Club of the Bullets. <laughs> <laughs> the Club of the Bullets. <laughs> and what the hell is AJ Styles going to do? It? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just, just to stop from uh, that, I, I wanted to talk about the uh, Mara Ranallo for a quick second because who Ma the commentator <laughs> from Ranallo. yeah oh. who the commentator from SmackDown that kept calling Mama it Hell in a Cell yeah he said Mama yeah, you know. my God, oh my God Mama so Mama Mama. Mama. there's been you know, a lot of people okay that way. my stepfather cannot stand him man all right this is hard <laughs> anyways <laughs> uh, so. Between, there's been some rumors going around that he might leave the WWE and that it's essentially he's so. checked out now. He's already he, denied that. He has yes. denied that. Oh. Where did brother live? Okay. <laughs> I still, it just seems like he's been acting very strange because he's been saying, you know, the hell in the cell over and over. And of course, uh, I know we didn't talk about 205 Live because uh, Laura and I are the only ones that mentioned it. But the match between, uh, who was it, Tony Nese and TJ Perkins, I think it was. Uh, right. they pretty much he said, I think the word was, he just cleaned his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. He said cock? He said cock. And Austin Aries <laughs> asked him, what was that? <laughs> Wow. Hold on. And, and, hold, on. And, and, and notice, hold on. And if you notice, didn't he make like a, a mistake on a move and like Rasho called him out on it on, on TV? Yeah. So it's, it's almost like they're planting seeds. They're probably going to kick him out, whatever. Hold on. But there was rumors that they, they were looking for a new announcer for UFC. And there was rumors that his name did was brought up. So I yeah. yeah, I heard that. I heard that too. But, but luckily we have. Able tongue on the fucking conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Andrew, what? Oh and Byron Saxton. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Tom Phillips. Byron Saxton has Byron Saxton better on that goddamn yeah. commentator yeah. table than Otonga is. Otonga is annoying and just has yeah. nothing to fucking just like. No, I do it when somebody's doing something great. He's like, oh wow, did you just see that great maneuver there? I don't. <laughs> I <laughs> was <laughs> like. Catch me outside. How about that? He even threw that in there last Oh uh, my god. Like, when I, heard that, when I, heard him, he I was that like, gee, that cringe. <laughs> I cringe, man. It's just spicy me the ball. Well, oh, I don't dear. know if that ball is that spicy yet. He cleans his cock, yo. That's awesome. I mean, he's supposed to be clean his cock, but he just, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, honestly, that's even that's when... Uh... That's a hard to think. Like, if you get thin for something <laughs> and you start mispronouncing <laughs> everything. He just cleaned his cock. <laughs> <laughs> that that, that, that oh, tongue just did not want to work at all. <laughs> honestly, I love it, like, during the chamber. I think it was the pre-show with Mojo and uh, Hawkins. Uh, oh. He said... I know the match wasn't fantastic, um, yeah. <laughs> but it was barely two stars. Yeah, but regarding barely. that match, he was talking about like, we, of course we got this. <laughs> man, I cannot do his Amaro accent. <laughs> we got the, the six man. Wait, Laura, you were right. It was barely two stars in the ring. <laughs> 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 That's uh, bad because my da my daughter, who is she, she loves Kurt Hawkins. I can't explain it. But 
<laughs> like literally, like he's going, hey, Nobody Hawkins think- is, is wrestling. She I- comes I- out. She comes out. She goes, <laughs> oh, cool, and turns around and goes back. Nobody, I, I didn't understand how anybody had hope for Kurt Hawkins in the first place. Right? That, that, and, and that is... Me, come on. Yeah. I, it, I, I didn't see the pre-show, but I heard that he bombed in that pre-show match, man. Or whatever. That, that, that is not a t-shirt you want. Um, my, my daughter's a fan of Kurt Hawkins. I can't explain it. And, uh, I, but I, I will say this. At least she makes up with it for being an Adam Cole fan. Okay. So... Just to... I will say one more thing about Morrow before we hit the next topic. Uh, <laughs> when they did call him out in that match with, because he said the Hell in a Cell match where six men, bro. <laughs> David Otunga and JBL both like, you did it again, Morrow, and he was like, I did. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, that, that, oh, they were calling each other out all night. That that I mean, oh my God, the, in the pre show they showed JBL uh, trying to do the two step down the uh, the ramp and he trips and falls. <laughs> and Booker, no chill whatsoever. They were in the middle of talking about a match. He said, screw the match. I want to talk about the <laughs> making a match out of himself. And, and, and another thing I noticed that that guy, <laughs> that, that guy for NXT, it seems like when a pay-per-view starts, he's the one that starts off the the, the commentary. Before, he used to be on Mauro Manalo, right? Yeah. Like, like you know, welcome yeah. to the pay-per-view or whatever. So, it, mm-hmm. And it seems like Mauro, he don't got the same like aura no more. The energy is like, he's just there. I like, think looking at the camera, like, if I would have to make a guess, I imagine, especially with the rumors of Michael Cole leaving and heading to uh, a backstage position, they are trying to introduce Tom Phillips. And if Cole leaves, oh, God. he might be going into – hold on, man. Tom Phillips and Corey Graves are fantastic in NXT. Oh, and yeah. if that's the way they're going to do Graves it – all the way. No, them together was a fantastic team. So maybe like the, Tom recording. Phillips heading to Raw around the draft time and Cole be leaving. If that's the case, that's a fantastic Raw team. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I, it's kinda, it sucks because I do like Mauro Manalo, even though he screams too much and overly hypes certain things. Uh, but nice he's cock. Beginner, I think he's okay. I, I think he's okay. I don't think he's bad. <laughs> he's, he's, better, he's, better he's better than No, he's not bad. Yeah, he's not bad. He's better than Tonga. He's not bad. I, I still it, like Dave Otunga. <laughs> Dave Otunga, right? I don't, I don't think Jennifer Hudson likes Dave Otunga. <laughs> I, I'm being serious. Like, I don't know how that's lasted. Like, I we I, I don't even like she's. We don't even hear about her anymore. <laughs> like, just for entertainment purposes, we don't even hear about her. She's she used to be like a really like uh. uh you know, a main event singer, basically. And she's an Oscar award-winning actress. She's an Oscar award-winning actress. Just I know, but the, that was a couple of years ago, Sean. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know. That's what I'm just saying. Like, she was Ever since she married El and, and, and I will say this, and I will say this. She she was a part of the Hairspray Live. Yeah. yeah. She, did, she did an absolutely amazing job. So, what I'm saying is that ever since she married Otunga, she's like See? dropped to the mid card. Honestly, I think it was before that. I mean, before she married Otunga, like right when she lost her weight and started doing Weight Watchers commercials, that's pretty much when her career was gone. Well, she was, yeah, her career was taken off. Like she was cut from American Idol, but then she did uh, that movie where she won the Academy Award and Dr- she uh, was Dream doing Girls. really, really well. And then all yeah. of a sudden, like she disappeared. I think. I hate to say it because I'm glad she did it for her health and such, but I think losing the weight really hurt her career, sadly. You know, that happens to a lot of people, man. Melissa McCarthy, uh, I don't think she's as funny as, as she yeah. was when she was fat. Awesome Kong. She doesn't look as intimidating no more. <coughs> she that weight. Are you on the other side of the Kong, room, man? Uh, <laughs> what is Bohemian's lady doing? Did she do anything yesterday? No. <laughs> yeah, she did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Well, I like Laura accepting the fact that she's just called Bohemian Lady. <laughs> I'm giving up. <laughs> yeah. I think I think it's a better name. I, I honestly, oh. I'm I'm more I'm more to sit here just kind of waiting for Tamina to return finally. Yeah. Oh, and by the I, way, I know I know we. I'm sorry. They look so much alike. I don't know why. I know, because they're I know the we same touched, family. I know we touched on this really briefly, but what what the fuck was that with Emma with Emma? That's that what I'm saying. They just keep understand. fucking around. It's the greatest <laughs> blue ball. Only backstage, Seven. backstage is un, is un, well, unimpressed with her because she didn't embrace the new gimmick of hers. So now they put it well, back to me. What can you fucking blame? Really? Blame what if they want? Yeah, they want I, I don't understand. It was one day. Her? I don't fucking blame them. I don't fucking blame her for not embracing that gimmick. That gimmick was stupid. No. 
let her be what she was. She was let getting over something. before she was fucking injured. Yeah. By the way, I, no, by the way, I'm a hundred. I'm a hundred percent behind with Laura. I hate when. When when a wrestler doesn't embrace their gimmick, it's always that they they're hard to do business with. They, they always go that route. Yep. What about what about? It's not. It's never that the gimmick is horrible. It's always that they're hard to it work has with. To, or, it has to fit. Mm-hmm. It has to fit. Michael Hayes. Michael Hayes said that in one of those roundtables, and he's like, "Well, you know, you have to." He had this argument with McFoley. He's like, "Well, you have to. If you give it a character, you have to embrace it. You have to make the best out of Mick Foley. He's like, "But you, you telling me that Austin would have been Austin if he was um, Ice Cold Dagger? <laughs> you know, like sometimes a gimmick is stupid." You from, know, from like a performer standpoint, and, and Emma, and Emma didn't have to do it. that, by the way. Emma didn't have to do the Emmalina thing. No, but yeah, she I, she I did, did it to try and do something different, and it just didn't fucking work. Seventeen weeks. Yeah. Because it's the same girl that we just finished seeing with a new name. That's all it was. To be honest with you, it wasn't and like we haven't seen it for years and months. <laughs> she was just on TV what three months before that, five months before that. Come on. Yeah. I bet, I bet her name sounds exactly like Melina. Like, well, why would you? I mean, that no that's not that big a deal. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even yeah, think about it's that. It's a big deal to me, honestly, because I, I saw I kept thinking about was Melina. Was really? Her name. She's pretty. Yes, cool. like Emma Lina, Come on, Emmalina. I didn't think about that at all. Yeah, he did not. I was looking at those but, hot I mean, pictures. I mean, it would have been, it would have been funny if she really can't. I'm going back to Emma and did that stupid dance you should do with Santino Morello. That's what I thought. That's what I, I thought she was going to do. I would have to fucking do the, the dance, you know? Me too. Me too. <laughs> I would have been like, yo, that was She funny. comes out there. For a ride. She comes out there on Raw and says, I'm going back to Emma. Like, what the fuck? Like, what? I don't understand. And then she gets booed off of the stage, and of course, guess what? WWE's going to blame her for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to throw her ass under the bus real Of course. Quick. Unless I think they did it on purpose. Like, I think they did it on the purpose. Thing is too, the, the thing is, too, this is what really pisses me off, is that they're trying to attempt to throw her under the bus. But here's the thing. If you can't fit into a role, it doesn't feel right. Even if you're yeah. an actor, that movie is going to fucking bomb. Of course. No matter what. Of course, but you know what the difference is? Actors have choices. I, you know, Christian Bell doesn't have to, is not forced to play Batman. He chose to play Batman. That, there's a difference. Horribly. Okay, I don't, I don't think so. But. I, I'm not, I am not a Christian Bale Batman fan. Yeah, either Never. am I. Mostly because I look at him and I see fucking dancing and singing from the newsies. You know, I, you know, you know uh, uh, now that we're talking about that, Ben Affleck doesn't want to do Batman no more. He's trying to get out of that shit. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. Oh, I think he was the best Batman we've had in a what? long time. Yeah. yeah when well, you, you say long to, ass to, time. To you. Three years ago, from Christian Bale, <laughs> he, he, he's actually he actually looks like him. him. The best Batman. Well, he said long he, ass time, so I'm curious who's the best Batman. Yeah, exactly. Well, how long of an ass of a time? <laughs> I didn't think, I didn't think Christian Bale was the best one, though. No, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so either. What? I, I don't think yeah. Christian Bale's the best. No. This whole oh, thing when he goes like this, I'm like, I, yeah. that threw me off the whole time. Every time I, I heard him fucking talk, it threw wow. me off. I didn't uh, like his costume. This so Dark Knight is just one of the greatest movies of all time. But, I mean, yeah. he yeah, is. There's no doubt. You know what made the Dark Knight great? It was not. It was not Christian Bale. Yeah, I disagree. He's actually. The it was not Christian Bale. It was Heath fucking Ledger. That's yeah, the only was, way I, I can sit through and watch the Dark Knight. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I disagree. And but, even, even towards the end point, the guy who played who played uh, Harvey, uh, Aaron Eckhart. Yeah. Yes, he was. He well, was like fucking phenomenal. Uh, his his yeah. career is taking off. I think Christian Bale was okay playing Batman. I'm not saying he was bad. I just I just didn't like his. Blah, 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 blah. But he had I a think, career taking off. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I think this guy. No, but I, I think he had some things. <laughs> let's talk about let's talk about how Enzo's career is taking off, man. To the fucking toilet, God. I don't. I, wait a minute. We, we're talking. We're talking. Wait, wait. wait we, we're talking about Batman, and you come up with Enzo. Yeah, I, I, I have to talk about how he's the new Brooklyn Brawler now. I have to talk about what the he, hell he are you talking about? Okay, that. wait, wait. Really? You, you're comparing him to the Brooklyn Brawler, really? Bro, he's bro. He's been getting. He's a punching uh, bag every week, man. He lost to a, Cesaro. He, he gets oh, beat okay, up every week. Can you compare him to the Brooklyn Brawler? Come on. Uh, man. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know who to compare him to. Who else? Who else was like right. kind of popular but lost every fucking match? Scott, right? Scotty Too Hobby? Yeah, <laughs> Scotty's a good pick. Dude, dude Scotty Too Hobby <laughs> had more offense than what Enzo's been having lately, bro. Come on. I'm um, in fairness. 
in fairness, that was kind of Enzo's gimmick in NXT too. Most of his match, most of his matches with Cass, still to this day, are wait, Enzo wait, get his wait, ass kicked not, for about wait, thirty I'm minutes. Done, I'm not done with this. Uh, I'm with Sean. <laughs> I, I, you know, Ben Affleck wants to drop out. Good, good riddance. No, because I'm I sorry, I was, I was not. Uh, listen, dude, uh, that you movie only was say not that because no, you only say that because the movie sucked. I honestly, the Batman character was- okay, the movie sucked, yes, and the and to me, Ben Affleck was the best part of that movie. But yeah. right, if he exactly. doesn't want to do Batman, I'm not gonna. To me, in all honesty, I could care mm-hmm. less. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm just saying. The next person who plays Batman, who the fuck is gonna be like that? you? Like like to me, there's a difference between Ben Affleck dropping out or Hugh Jackman. Like to me, that, that's a loss. Ooh. Hugh Jackman not being Wolverine anymore. That to me is a loss because no, he was. I- he was right, amazing right. as Wolverine. He's been, he's been he's been there for years and he's, exactly. he's been uh, the Wolverine. But I'm just saying he's been amazing. But I'm just saying he fits that that character so well, like his whole look and everything. So and what? So so just for curiosity purposes, why doesn't he want to be Batman? Because I think he he wanted to direct the the Batman movie, you know, himself. But he's not getting the things he wants and how to direct it. I guess everybody has some something to say about it, so he's starting to feel pressure. And mm-hmm. I just think he's, he's, he's bugging him so much that, you know, mm-hmm. he says, I'm not even going to deal with this shit. I want out of everything. Well, that's stupid, though. Not but to mention, not there's another in thing. Of, you know in terms of him feeling pressure, come on. You knew there was going to be pressure. But, but not, I had a lot of hopes for him because at least he's done movies that are pretty good. Yes. Not, no, I, yeah. yeah. The guys who are, are behind doing the Batman movies suck. Yes. So I can, I can only imagine the pressure he's here from these people. No, I want you to do this because I think this will be better. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. I like to mention there's the uh, whole thing when his movie, which was nominated for an Oscar, uh, right. was coming out and he was promoting it. Uh, everyone was saying, it was like, well, your movie's nominated for an Oscar, but uh, tell us more about Batman. Like, he was getting pissed. <laughs> and, that's <laughs> also true. and that's also true. But, and, but and he, he, had, he had that, that movie, The Towel, which was one of my favorite movies yeah, uh, in a, a long, movie. long time. Man. That was a phenomenal movie. But he also knows his Batman stuff because he's also he's also read comic books about it and all this. Stuff. So he knows they destroyed he, it, man. They destroyed that they industry, destroyed in my opinion. It, no, I agree. Actually, yeah, I'm not blaming Ben Affleck. But, but like you said, Ben Affleck, out of everybody in that fucking film, was the best part. He was the best part. The best, part. The best thing. <laughs> this guy that plays Superman to me is the movie equivalent of Roman Reigns. <laughs> he has the same Honest, exact face for everything. He does. He does. Like he's the Roman Reigns of movies because nobody wants you there, but you're still there because everybody else wants you there. <laughs> you know, like movie movie I mean, exact. To me, like they, uh, to me for me anyway, they they fucked up that whole universe. Like I, I I'm not I'm not in love with the whole team ups. That's what this era is about. It, it, it's it's uh, it's actually spilled over into sports. We have to get these super teams. Let's all team I mean, up together. <laughs> LeBron can't get enough uh, all stars on his team, and it's all like super team. Let's all super team each other to death. Like, let's I'm, face I'm sick it. Of it. Sports did it first before uh, pro, uh, anything else I, really did it. No, no, that's true. The 2002 Lakers, and they <laughs> lost. Yeah, but nobody, but nobody looked at it like that at that time, though. <laughs> it was Carl Malone, Gary Payton, Kobe Bryant, and Shaq. How can you yeah, not look at it? In, like in their twilight, Sean, not in their prime. Yeah, true on that part. Yeah, they they try to tell that to Charles Barkley. He's like, yeah, you talking to. He's like, you you mean when I went uh, with Elijah Wan? He's like, yeah, but that was me. You know, I was an old man at that time. You can't compare old man Barkley and old man Drexler to uh, a prime Kevin Love and a prime Kyrie Irving. You know. Now everybody, like, he's trying to get Carmelo on his team. Like, come on, man. Like, enough with this super team shit. Like, compete. Like Charles Buckley said, have the balls to compete, man. It'd be like, hey, Jordan, uh, you want to join up with Larry Bird and Magic Johnson? <laughs> like, what? like, wow. Like, how unfair. And, and it spilled over. You're right. It, it was sports first. It spilled over into the movie world where now every movie is about that. Like, let's do these super team-ups. And I'm, yeah. you know, it's like. And then. Okay, you want to you want to team up su- uh, superheroes, but make the bad guy a, a force. <laughs> you know, like I mean, Thanos is a force right now. I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Like you never know, Sean. They might fuck it up in the movie. I mean, like, he's he gonna have like, hey guys. <laughs> Thanos has two movies, and uh, honestly, I'm super excited for Guardians when it comes out. Right now, oh, we yeah. got well, yeah. Uh, just for That's people good. who are listening to the download, uh, right now on the stream, we've got playing Awesome Kong versus Serena Deeb out of TNA, 
which you mean you mean people listening live, not on the download. Well, I mean if they're listening to the download, they should check out the live feed when we go live because you'll be exactly. able to see some of the matches we play. Yeah, we are we are going to be going live on Facebook just to let everybody know in case uh, you don't uh, that the people that download it, you want to tune in on Tuesday nights. Um, but going into what O was saying about Enzo, now uh, going back to that, I would I would not call Enzo uh, Brooklyn Brawler only because I at least Enzo entertains me in some capacity. He entertains me. I like Enzo. I I actually like Enzo a lot. I think he's funny. Um, you know, do I do, you know do I need him for twenty minutes? Probably not. But you know, he's also he's not Brooklyn Brawler. That's for sure. He's not the Brooklyn Brawler. I can't. I, I don't ever remember dude, saying. I can't wait I to see Brooklyn Brawler. I don't know. I, I think he just gets me mad at the fact that I really do enjoy Enzo. I really do. No homo. I like him I, a lot. I, yeah. I like Enzo, and it's just like, come on. Like, why would you job him what, out? What happened? What happened? Doing, man. What did, what did he do? He, he lost to Cesaro. The way he got thrown out in Royal Rumble. He's been losing every match to Jerusa. I mean, well, I mean, like, he was he was twenty seven. Dominating man, twenty seven for twenty seven okay. seconds. It just, it just made no sense, man. It, was, it was bad. But more, but, but oh, more people have won at <laughs> twenty seven than in yeah. any number. And then he's the one that has to break that cycle. That's just horrible. Bro. But that Royal Rumble was disappointing. I mean, yeah. You know, we've I, I, to me, I've been disappointed already for two straight months with these pay per views, and we still have another one before WrestleMania. So we we still have another pay per view to be disappointed in before the disappointment of all disappointment. Right. <laughs> Yeah, because everything's playing out the same way. Every everybody's, but it's not only that. It's just like, it's just like what exactly? <laughs> ah, just like that. I see. I see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just really be blunt with you guys as well. We're hoping this comes in again soon. Uh, we've been going streaming for a long time with Skype. So this year, this week, I should say, uh, we started doing something new with Facebook. And for some reason, everyone just disappeared. But we're going to try and get the stream back going in a second. So... Yeah, I, Enzo more being compared to like the Brooklyn Brawler or what have you. Uh, I I know I kind of see what's being talked about in that realm, uh, but eh, no, it just doesn't seem to make much sense to me. At least, yeah. Anywho, so we're gonna try and get this back going in real quick. So give us a quick moment, sorry folks, because. This is always fun to do. And what's even best is that this is a video stream. So you guys are seeing everything I'm doing. Don't pay attention to what you see on my Facebook. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anywho. Uh, oop. So yeah, we're starting the Facebook stream again. Also, how he drops the. Yes, oh, he I hate it. It was bad. Way. It was bad <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was bad before, but now it's actually gay. Yeah, he goes weep. That's the way he's doing it. Now. Hey <laughs> guys. Yeah, like, he jumps with his, his legs. You know, his like knees are in the air. Jacks, and he's like, yeah. Because that's how John Cena looks when he's dropping that fucking uh, stupid. Yeah. Yeah, he th he's he's Yo, doing it. Oh my god! How much does John Cena's finisher look like shit now, man? People like two people kicked out of it today. It was almost like that move ain't shit no more. You know, we go we all gonna no, kick no, out you of it. He can't. He can beat him. He cannot do a regular AA anymore. He has to do it like 15 times before it works. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's fucking like, horrible. Like people, people and then he has that stupid him. face like, I can't believe he kicked out. Like, come on, man. Like, like for five minutes, he's there him. questioning his fucking career now. Like, <laughs> no, but you know what? You know what? What I hate, though? You know what I hate? First of all, I love when Cena and um, AJ face each other because Every time AJ goes up to those ropes and he's ready to fucking leap off that shit, I always feel like Cena's gonna catch him and do the AA, and it's over. yeah. And that's <laughs> one thing that I give him on that. They always make you feel like Cena wins because he does the AA, even though he, he's always kicking out. Like, yeah, there's always that possibility that motherfucker is gonna pin him right now. You know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I just but I I, I, I gotta go. 
<laughs> yeah, the Wii, yeah, for for sure, man. It looks horrible. Like that's how he was doing it when he did it like to two people. But yeah, when exactly. you do it to one person, like uh, no, <laughs> no, that's gotta stop. Yeah, man, I gotta put the sound effect to that. <laughs> yeah. <all> like we, <laughs> and it's the most, uh, it's the most dumbest move. Even before this, it was yeah. the stupidest move. Uh, you know th- that and the fucking worm. Uh, you know, <laughs> just stupid moves, man. I hate stupid moves. And the the people's elbow as a finisher. I hate that as a finisher. You know, you told me you can't get a kick out of an elbow when fucking Brock Lesnar is twisting you in the air. <laughs> Like, give me a break, dude. I, I just don't like stuff like that, man. Wait, Joey, you need to realize the way, that's the most electrifying move in sports entertainment today. <laughs> yeah, it's the stupidest move in sports entertainment. I hated it Yo, then and I hate it now. We're not going to talk about the new inductee of the Hall of Fame, man. Oh, no, we're going to definitely <laughs> talk about the new inductee. Oh, we're getting there. Yeah, we oh, got holla, two. Holla. Yeah. <laughs> well Speaking deserved, of which, well you know, I'm sorry. I have they, no problem. They, hey, they, I need, they, they, it is it is well deserved, but they also needed a black guy. I I, yeah, I just want to make yeah, a. Yeah, that's exactly the reason why Naomi won the belt. But anyway, yeah. I, I just want to make a quick <laughs> announcement though, considering <laughs> how <laughs> considering how the show has been going uh, <laughs> between Laura and Joey and Innocent and Byron. I would just want to make a quick tag team match between you two. All right. Oh Lord. <laughs> Hello. I'm, 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 I'm going to punch you in the face when I see you next week. <laughs> and by the way, by the way, Stephanie McMahon doing the the Teddy Long dance has no. got to stop. It's got to stop. Yeah, no, yeah. I, 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 I love when she came out. She has some swag, man. She's not. She's not black. She's not black. It don't matter. She has swag. Man. She was good. I get. I get. It's Black History Month, but stop. <laughs> That's exactly why Naomi won. That's why Teddy. Lo- well, it's also they show Orlando. Martin the King, and they said, "Naomi, you're gonna win." <laughs> and then next this? Year, she's gonna lose. Well, then, 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 then Titus O'Neil must really feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> arf, arf, arf. It's only for this month, and then you go. No, back it's not Earth. It's ooh, ooh. Yeah, it, 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 if Naomi loses on March first. <laughs> yeah, right after Black is, I'm telling you. Though. <laughs> they just needed a, a black star to win the belt. And, and by the way, and by the way, how does it look like you have somebody who's really, really black against somebody who's really, really white in Alexa Bliss? <laughs> I mean, it could have been. Left her <laughs> I like her, man. A, go- a, a, a gorgeous, a gorgeous leprechaun. Mm. She's cute. She's cute. Gorgeous oh, I leprechaun. I love her. So her on the uh, mic is like nails across a chalkboard for me right now for some reason. I love me some Alexa Bliss. I mean, she's mm. outstandingly gorgeous. What is she, like 20 now? She's not outstandingly gorgeous, but she's pretty <laughs> good at my stuff. She's cute. Yeah, she's, she's, also me. Off she's, the she's a cutie, yes, definitely. Oh, yeah, she's uh, getting married to Buddy Murphy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Who's that? Buddy Murphy. The NXT. You remember, t- you remember people, the tag team in NXT that she Who managed, that Blake and Murphy? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, she's engaged to Murphy. Oh. oh and she's Murphy? 25. So 25. it's not someone. So Murphy's not his buddy. It's Buddy Murphy. That's his name, Buddy Murphy. <laughs> buddy Murphy. <laughs> it's one of my favorite names in wrestling Fuck right your now. Fuck your couch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa Bliss. Body Murphy. So she's 25 years old. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's the Dave Chappelle story, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kelly Murphy. Come sit in the couch. Dave Chappelle could not do that show now. Oh, dude, Dave Chappelle's <laughs> actually getting a new show. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, but it's on Netflix, though, right? Don't mean it's not going to be awesome, man. I'm excited. Oh, speaking of Netflix, okay. this is another thing we have not talked it's about official. yet. It's official. It is official. Right? Lucha Underground. I think it's January. Uh, I, I January. don't remember when it's coming out. Oh my God, you're fired. That's today. <laughs> I thought okay, it was. Ma- okay, Morallo or Maro. Maro. We're in February, Morallo. <laughs> Black History Month. Uh oh, look at this car. Oh my. And all the spells and the flying people and all these the, the, people the coming to life. Seasons. All the all those stories. Anyway, to see that shit. Live. Yeah, the first two That's seasons cool. of Lucha Underground is coming to Netflix sometime today. That's cool. 
Sometimes yeah, it just is. Forward, just forward all the backstage segments, man. You don't want to see that. Yeah, the, you know what? That's the me. only part I don't like is the fact that you have the... It's not that I don't like it, but it, the, the capability of just... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, uh, th- this is... Okay, so... Sorry, Byron. <laughs> no, that, yeah. uh, uh, Dorian Romal and GM of Lucha Libre FMV has confirmed that seasons one and two of Lucha Underground will be available on Netflix spring of 2017. So okay, sometime so in the spring. Season 1 and 2 talking about something from like 2013 or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I got that shit live right now on the, on the laptop, man. I fuck gotta wait so long to see some 2012 so, shit. Wait, but Sean so, so said later today. Like, what, what are you yeah. talking about? Uh, for the original things we were saying February, so I guess I was completely wrong because the updated one was so, saying the spring. So, yeah, just a, never, Lucha Underground would never hire Sean because he fucked it up for them. <laughs> and also, and also, I, you're, also, you're, you're like, I, hold on, you're like the Mike Adderley of this shit, man. Oh, by the way, oh, 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 yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, you're right. Mike, Mike Adam, is it, is it, is it Mike Adam Lee suffering from something? Uh, de- dementia. Got, yeah, he he's got uh, brain uh, injuries. That's, bad, bad, that's, that's why you called Jeff Hardy Jeff Harvey that day in debut. I don't think that's why, but <laughs> I think you I, I, I think he was Jeff just Harvey. mad. <laughs> He's Jeff Harvey. Jeff Harvey. I remember that day. I was like, oh no. Was he wait, wait, wasn't he the announcer for American Gladiators? Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. Yeah. Wow. And Jeff Harvey coming up. Yeah, right? <laughs> Jeff like, Harvey. What? And by the way, that was a that was a title match. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. By the way, um, let's be uh, honest though. That has to be the reason why he was messing up like that. Because didn't he say that he's been suffering with that for years, or, or yeah. he's been having oh. brain like issues for years? Oh yeah. Not, not dementia itself, but like supposedly he has wow. some sort of, a lot of brain damage from being what was it? The yeah, NFL he was years. in. Yeah, oh, wow. over the yeah. years of the American Gladiators. So that's what I'm saying. So when they <laughs> hired him, he must have had something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he wasn't even. He was the announcer. What the hell they did? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why Hogan called black people the N word. Then, eh? <laughs> that's a, that is a good excuse, Remember, though. American gladiators traumatizes people in the head. <laughs> but also, some he's, also. He's also. But I mean, he's had like I'm, I'm reading uh, the story from uh, 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 NBC Five out of Chicago. The the interview they did and that's gone public. He's had. He's now been on short-term disability and long-term disability, dealing with seizures and epilepsy for the last 19 years. Jeez. Wow. Oh. Damn. Well, that explains a lot, though. Jeff Harvey. Wow. He, he suffers. He now has dementia. <laughs> and he now has uh, what doctors believe could be chronic traumatic. Um, and I'm gonna fuck this up, so I'm sorry. But en- encephalopathy. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. That's yeah, also known as CTE. Oh, really? Yeah. That that's what that's what I don't know if people know this or not, but that's what the Will Smith movie's about. Oh, uh, the mo- the concussion movie? Wasn't it just oh. called Concussion? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was called Concussion. Um, but that's what that you know, when football players kill themselves or they go crazy for no reason, that's what they get. So that's a little bit different than dementia. That that that's a real like he could go like completely insane one day and just go nuts out of nowhere. By the way, so that's a real serious thing, man. And I, I mean, up. I've 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 seen stuff like that take somebody really really quick, and yeah. it, or it, oh, yeah. somebody could have it for years. And you're talking, you know, he's now suffered with this with for what twenty years. Let me tell you something. I didn't want to see that movie at first, but then I actually saw it. It was an incredible movie. Like I was like blown away by like what that is, and it, that's something that you do not want to have on your worst enemy. Honestly, it is really bad. Like it affects. Uh, that's what Benoit had, which they didn't diagnose uh, at because it wasn't diagnosable at that time. But that's what Benoit had. That's why Benoit did what he did, basically. I mean- and, and if you watch the movie before, before American Gladiators, he was a uh, Adam Lee was a football player. Oh wow! So wow, well that explains a lot then. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you, if anybody gets an opportunity to see that movie, if you're interested in stuff like that, if you're a football fan, watch that movie, and you're like, wow, these guys, you know, the, the way the NFL try to cover that shit up and all that, really, really powerful shit. But uh, also on on a little bit lighter note. Um, 
another thing that I'm really excited about that's coming soon is the HBO documentary on Andre the Giant. The that fact that it's on way. HBO, I think it's going to be awesome because they do some incredible documentaries. I love HBO documentaries. So the fact that they're doing one on Andre is really, really cool. I like Bill Simmons. He has a show on HBO. He, he's a WWE guy, and he's going to do a really good job with that. Really good job. Can't wait for that one. That's going to be some good stuff. Andre had a yeah. really fascinating life. A lot of people may not know. Yeah, I but. saw his, uh, I think it was E! True Hollywood Story. And yeah, really I mean, fascinating they, life. The HBO one would probably be blown out of the water, but yeah, it's yeah. awesome. HBO does incredible documentaries, man. Really good. Did really they good do stuff. one of Ric Flair recently? No, uh, that's no. going to be on ESPN. Yeah, they did it. It already came out, though, the 30 for 30. Did it? Yeah, they also just recently did the XFL. This is the XFL. Yeah, uh, thirty for thirty. I messaged you about that. Did you see it? Somebody no. knows where I can watch it for the love of God. Yeah, where, I, I, are are you sure the Rick, wait, wait, are you sure the Ric Flair one came out? That came out months ago, man. I, are you sure the thirty for thirty came out on Ric Flair? I haven't yeah, I ha seen it. Because I'm telling you, I, I've been on top of that, and I haven't I, seen it. The Rick, the Ric Flair thirty, uh, the the thirty for thirties are some of the best documentaries you'll ever see. Somebody they said did. that on. I think somebody said that to somebody on Raw. Who who said that? They mentioned that. What? Oh, you're gonna be on the next thirty thirty uh episode. Somebody said it to somebody. Yes, they did. yes, yes. Somebody did say that. You're right. They who did was that. Oh, they did the Diva? one. They did oh, the one on uh, OJ, out. man. And I'm telling you, man, it's it's some of the best documentaries you'll ever see. Okay, I guess I was right. I could have sworn that did come out it, though. It, I'm not seeing it. I've seen. Yeah. It, it hasn't come, come out yet. have a trailer out for it. It always it. says it's yeah, the trailer. in 2017. Yeah. yeah. It hasn't come the out XFL yet. I would have known. Out, yeah, but wait a minute. Who said that on Raw to somebody? I forgot who the fuck it is. Somebody said that you're going to be on the next it was probably. Film. It was probably um, somebody to Charlotte. Probably. Because uh, her, they're doing one on Ric Flair. And that's going to be really good, man. That's going to be really good. But he's only I can't what, wait. 30 minutes, right? No, not necessarily. There, there's been some that have been two hours. Really? Yeah. I, I watch. I, I watch. I watch most of the. Th yeah, that was thirty minutes. Wasn't there the a Rick 30... Flair? The Rick Flair seems like it's going to be an hour though. At the very. Wasn't least. the thirty for thirty for? Wasn't there a thirty for thirty for Scott Hall or no? Yeah, but it yeah. Was, it, but they, there, there's two different thirty for thirties. There's the thirty for thirty official and the thirty for thirty short. And the one that Scott Hall had was the thirty for thirty short. Oh, okay. That's thirty okay. minutes. The 30 for 30s are normally an hour, sometimes two, depending on the subject. The, the, they had the one on the Yankees in uh, Boston. That was like two hours. Um, the OJ one was like uh, all together, I think it was nine hours. <laughs> so it, it can range. But I think Ric Flair will be an hour at the very least. The Ric Flair one they've been working on for a long time. I was hoping this. Ric Flair was I love, I love, Yeah, I love stuff like that. The only person in the Hall of Fame twice, and probably that'll be the case for nobody else. <laughs> uh, Triple H will be on there three times. Oh, well, yeah, as an executive producer, yeah. uh, as, a, as, as the Triple creator, a, DX, as Samoa Joe little... called him the creator. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Samoa Joe's nickname, the Destroyer? They don't say it like that. I'm okay that. as long as they're it's, pushing Samoa Joe. It's, it's pretty ge generic if you ask me, but uh, so I'm okay. So get this, WWE, six minutes ago, per WWE SmackDown Live General Manager Daniel Bryan, a number one contender's battle royal will determine who will face uh, Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. What? What? Oh, um, oh okay, ne I see. Next week, a battle royal will determine the number one contender. Yeah, Randy Orton's still fighting Bray Wyatt. <laughs> so, like, so, yeah, someone's going to face Wyatt, and Orton's going to face the winner of that mania. Okay, all right. Yeah, uh-huh. Luke Harper's probably going to win that battle royal. Mm -hmm. I hope so, man. Luke Harper was amazing in that match. You know, I loved it. I loved it today, man. The way he just came out during Bray Wyatt's entrance, mm -hmm. it was great. I feel like that was that was really, you know, a good way to utilize him. They're saying uh, that Vince McMahon wasn't at Illumination Chamber. I'm not he surprised. Wasn't there. He wasn't there. That's also. Uh, this happened over the weekend with uh, Ring of Honor. And the Bullet Club officially has a new member in their cohorts. 
It's Ooh. still starting to get and and starting to get <coughs> world order size. Now. It, I mean. They're in two promotions, and not all the guys in Japan can work for Ring of Honor and vice versa, so it makes sense. But uh, what are you talking about? the newest member after turning on his tag team partner is Frankie Kazarian. The newest member of what? Right, the, Bullet the Bullet Club. You know what? Yo, Sean, you notice something that you forgot to talk about, and I'm surprised you haven't mentioned this since we got a couple more minutes? The, the supposed heat between TNA and Ring of Honor. Oh, uh, that was something we were going to bring up, yeah, I think. But I'm not sure, really sure what the heat is. Uh, for most part, what something we're like seeing, Jared, like yeah, Ring of Honor and TNA agreed to do this match with the Hardys and Young Bucks, but because Jeff Jarrett's now having more control in TNA and how Jeff Jarrett treated Ring of Honor when they were working together before, uh, Ring of Honor is mm. not happy about this teamwork now. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> so now I was about match. I was about to say like you just said the Hardys are fighting the Young Bucks and now. I mean, they're still going to fight because it's already announced. It's already been promoted like crazy. So, hmm. But Ring of Honor is not happy with TNA. Yeah. And so are a lot of people. But I mean, but but uh, in all seriousness, uh, does Ring of Honor have nothing else to do that they have to be upset at TNA? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Like, honestly, like that just seems a little stupid to me. I mean, you agree to put a company that's underneath you to be on your program. And then they sign a guy supposedly, that fucked you over. Supposedly underneath you. I, I would who's say under, TNA is underneath, underneath Ring. Who? I would say TNA is under Ring of Honor. I, I uh, that I would I go with. I don't, I don't, I don't know about all that. <laughs> That's why I'm saying like why I, Ring no, of Honor. I, I would go with that. You wouldn't I mean, go with that. Uh, who's, got, wise. Who's, got, who's got the most consistent sold out shows? Ring of Honor. Right, but who has more national television? TNA. <laughs> TNA, but that's only because they kissed the right asses. Yeah. Ring of Honor. Well, that, Still does. More people can watch. They still do. They still have their syndicated shows. They still get national and international attention. I mean, but but is, but is Ring of Honor what it was though? Like what? Like it's when, actually better. Like, yeah. Like they keep getting bigger and bigger. Hmm. Bigger I and mean, bigger, but they've been gone, they've been out for like twenty years. You know, I mean, they should be exploded by now. Actually, they're only about a week younger or something like that than TNA. They're a little younger than TNA. Can't be that much. Yeah, well. It's like the same year they came out. I know that much. Hmm. But the, really, the big difference is when you have. Yeah, but at the same time, though, is that they've also taken a different route than TNA. Yeah, they're TNA's not looking for that major exposure. They just they're happy with being syndicated with, through Sinclair Broadcasting. Yeah, but uh, but I'm sorry though. <laughs> is that a right thing? Is that a right move for a company to be happy with and not looking? I mean, massive yeah, because they yeah, well, considering they go to every place that they go to and consistently sell out. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're and if they, you're good with and that, the more people I, talk, I would think my goal would be to be seen as much as I can. Let, let, let's put it to you this way, Joey. How many former TNA World Champions went on to be WWE Champion versus how many former Ring of Honor Champions went on to be WWE Champion? I would oh. have no idea. Tyler Black. <laughs> the answer is seven to one. And that one is AJ Styles. The rest is Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens. Uh, frick, his name just ben. escaped. What? Well, well no, I was, I'm sorry. Finn never really made our... Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan, CM Punk. Daniel Bryan. I mean, I'm the sure, guys that I'm come sure from Ring of Joe. Honor, yes, yeah, Samoa Joe eventually, yeah. The guys that come from Ring of Honor go on to have a hell more prestigious career than the guys that go to TNA. It's kind of the concept mm -hmm. of... Yeah, you know something? You are right about that, too. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm really trying to think. I was going to say Christian, but, you know, I mean, I know he's a WWE guy, but he didn't get the belt until after he no. left TNA. Right? I was more the saying, like, the guys who won the Ring of Honor or TNA title first, then won the WWE title. Oh, right. Otherwise, yeah, you're going to exactly. say, right oh, yeah, that. Kevin Nash, but you, uh, Kurt but Angle. Right about, but you are right about Christian. He did get the belt after he went to TNA. So did Mick Foley. So did uh, Kurt Angle. So did a lot uh, of guys. If you go No, not Mick Foley after TNA. <laughs> Oh, Mick, he won the WWE title then, Daz. But yeah, Christian. Yeah, technically. Christian, Christian is a, is a is a perfect example of that. By the way, just to also say this, Linda McMahon has been confirmed as the Small Business Administration leader in the Donald Trump administration. Which, out of that entire cabinet, she's the only one that really actually makes sense. Yo, let me tell you something, man. I, I, I don't okay. want to talk about political shit, but have you ever been hearing about what um, ICE or immigration has been doing? 
Have you heard yeah. about this? Of course. Yeah. They've been going to freaking supermarkets and Home Depots and picking up all these immigrants. <laughs> I know I'm not lying, yo. They went to a Home Depot a, recently, especially in Long Island, bro. They, they, I'm they telling you, man. Yo, this is crazy. The only the only thing that these people are doing right now is that they're creating uh, more hostile people to attack us. Basically, it's so they're getting more people upset, and something something is going to explode eventually with with a situation like this. That's all I'm going to say about it, because that's the only thing that you're creating is more hostility. Yeah, and what 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 irritates me the most about it is then. You get the the Trump administration, and they, and they're all like, "Well, we're trying to get all the drug dealers and and uh, <laughs> all these off the streets." Black. A mother of four, who I know. has been serving her community to send her back to Mexico. Fucking really? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? How you how you looking for drug dealers, but you end up going to Home Depot picking up the Mexicans trying to make money, like? <laughs> That's not a drug dealer. Because, shop, because, you because. You your apartment for $100 and you fucking got to deport him. Like, come on. Because, because it's an excuse to what their real plans are. I'm telling you, man. It's just, this is only the beginning of what they really want to do, man. And wasn't that mother like a resident over here of 27 years or something of like course. that? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> fucking I fucking people who. I are born in the United States. Fucking people who interpret, uh, interpret for uh, certain troops and stuff were getting back, were getting deported. That. People that had people that exactly people that have been in this country for 20 years with green cards were getting deported. It's it's all a front for what the bigger plan is. I'm telling you, it's going to create a situation where it's not going to be good, man. That's all I'm going to say. It's not going to be good. All they're creating is a massive hostility. People are getting angrier and angrier. And what do you think is going to happen when people get angry? They're not going to. At first, it's going to be calm protests. But trust me, that's going to escalate, man. That's going to escalate. Yep. And when it escalates, then what? Then what are we going to do? Remember you when know? this country was allowed to punch Nazis and nobody thought it was a problem? But now if you do, <laughs> you're a violent hypocrite. Yeah, exactly. It's all a front, man. I'm telling you. This is a little like they're putting their toe in the pool. But eventually this band is going to expand and expand and expand. And people are really going to get fucked, man. But we all we all said this on the show, and obviously a lot of us said this uh, in other places way before this uh, the guy got, even got elected. So now we just we're just reaping what we already knew, mm. except it's a lot worse, <laughs> a lot worse than we even thought. But well, then what's his name? You know, resigned last night uh, from the administrator. Flynn. Uh, um, the sec the. the Oh really? I, yeah, I think his oh, name God. is Flynn because he got in some trouble with. Yeah, uh, Flynn. yeah. he got in some oh, trouble oh. with um, releasing secret documents or something, and then a month oh, later, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's got released, and this is why they're saying why he got rid of a month after he got in trouble. I don't know, man. Why the hell is Sandman in WCW? That's my question now. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> This was the worst year of WCW. I'm watching this video and I'm so confused. It, it, anyways. First of all, <laughs> it's hack, right? It's not yeah, it's hardcore hack. It's Buff yeah, Bagwell. It's right. Bam Bam Bigelow. And then some guy in a skirt that sprayed everyone with a fire extinguisher. I, I don't know. I picked the worst match for Buff Bagwell. That's all I know. Anyways, <laughs> I think you and me are the only ones on right now, Oh. No, no, we're not. Do, do we we're still so? here. Oh, it just got quiet real quick. Anyways, so that's pretty much, I think, all we got left for this week. Yeah, uh, no, uh, was I don't so think Sean weird. can hear us. Yeah, he don't. No, I can hear you guys. I can hear you and uh, Laura. I just can't hear Byron or Joey. And O's um, talking? Joey, yeah, Byron. I hear O and Laura, but I don't hear Byron or Joey. I don't know what's going on with them. Joey's there. That's weird. All right, so this was definitely an experiment with Facebook, then. <laughs> 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 we might go back to Skype next week, it sounds like. <laughs> How about now? How about now, 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 now? <laughs> nope, nothing. All right. <laughs> All right. So 
I'll sound us what off. What is about to?